Idea what to say to Vicky's father. Nobody wants here, Nick. Well, we were down in the fourth quarter. Backs against the wall. But Hail Mary at the very end. Just happy to be here celebrating the big win. Set to see a rivalry renewed. Kevin Owens faces the WWE Champion AJ Styles. Did you ban Sami Zayn from ringside? No. So we all know primarily how that will turn out. Tonight, I have the advantage against AJ Styles because I have a guardian angel by my side. Oh, drop kick from the phenomenal one. And there goes Styles. Through the back door goes Styles. Owens kicks out. And he's ain't concerned for his friend. And now Styles right on the attack. Takes out Sami Zayn. Styles. Oh, look who's back. Takes a swing there at Sami Zayn. Kevin Owens with a super kick. Sami Zayn nearly helped Owens get the win. Come on! Oh, look who's here. The commissioner, Shane McMahon's had enough of this. Shane just had Sami Zayn ejected from ringside. Oh, no. Oh, the meanwhile, back inside the ring, Styles. Styles has got the cover on Owens. He could have won it right there. Overzealousness just backfired for AJ Styles. Kevin Owens picking up a massive victory over the 
WWE Champion. Shelton Benjamin will attempt to jailbreak the Uso Penitentiary and capture the SmackDown Tag Team titles. They're on the line live tonight. Welcome, everyone, to SmackDown Live. But now he's got Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn and Shane McMahon in the middle of his affair. Yeah, that's the key right there. As SmackDown Live went off the air last week, we saw the issues that Shane McMahon has had with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn directly affect the career of the WWE Champion. As we approach the Royal Rumble, you have to wonder just who will compete against AJ Styles at the first event on the road to WrestleMania. It's the time to focus in for the WWE Champion. And welcome to the first SmackDown Live of 2018. But more importantly, welcome to the house that AJ Styles built. It's a new year, new chance, and new beginnings. And I am sure there are a bunch of WWE superstars on Raw and on SmackDown that have made New Year's resolutions, like going all the way in the men's Royal Rumble match. But here's the thing, I've made New Year's resolutions too. In fact, a couple of them. First, to take this championship all the way to WrestleMania. Walk out of the main event with this championship still around my waist. Now, I know after last week, maybe that doesn't look like something's gonna happen with Sami Zayn getting involved and Shane McMahon getting involved. I'm not gonna sit here and point fingers, which leads to my second New Year's resolution to beat Sami Zayn tonight. Now the question is, the same man that allowed Sami Zayn to be in Kevin Owens' corner, will he allow Kevin Owens to be in Sami Zayn's corner? Well, that man offered to come out here and tell us his decision. You just tonight. made the list. be interesting. The general manager of SmackDown Live, Daniel Bryan, 
And Byron, the rumors that at least Shane McMahon's been reporting is that Daniel Bryan is guilty of favoritism. Uh, I, I tell you what, there's some credence to those rumors. I, I, I've heard them myself. I've heard the superstars talk. There is legitimate concern in the SmackDown Live locker room that Daniel just Bryan because, is showing listen, favoritism. Just because there's concern doesn't make it legitimate, Byron. Daniel Bryan has shown nothing to, to decide that he is guilty of well, favoritism I, I, just because a few people got their feelings hurt. I think it's a little more than that, Corey. You just made the list! The leader of the Yes movement here in Orlando, but the question is, is he involved in the Yep movement? Here comes the money! Here we go! Here comes the money! How about this? Commissioner wasting no time. Well, oh, before Daniel Bryan can even get a word out of his mouth, he'd offer to come out here and talk to AJ Styles. Well, listen, maybe Shane McMahon's coming out to apologize in person to AJ Styles for costing AJ a match last week. Commissioner Hothead got in over his head, and it cost the WWE oh, yeah, Champion well, listen, a victory. Listen, Shane McMahon's thoughts were in the right place. He had good intentions last week. Obviously, things didn't go down well, as they well, should have. Well, Byron, I hate to break it to you, but the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Shane McMahon saw what Sami Zayn could possibly do with Kevin Owens, saw how it could unravel, and got himself involved with Byron. He apologized to the champion last week. He owned up to it. That's the most you can do. Happy New Year indeed. What's up, Orlando? You know, I had the best intentions last week when I came down to the ring because Thank you for that. I appreciate the love back at you. Again. So again, my intentions, I had the best of them coming down last week and asking the referee to eject Sami Zayn for his interference in the AJ Styles-Kevin Owens matchup. I think we would all agree, all of us, that we'd much rather watch a matchup determined by a competitor's ability rather than distractions and interference. And with that, my presence, may have contributed to your defeat. So, AJ, I apologize to you. Now, while we're on a couple things, you know, for several months now, I have been accused of having a personal vendetta against Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. I know you think that, Daniel. And as much as I have a legitimate beef and issues with them both, uh, I think that, Daniel, it is you that have a genuine likeness or at least a kinship with both Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Because why on earth would you ever let Sami Zayn come down to ringside last week? This is still baffling me. But before you answer that, I have actually a bigger question. And many people have been saying this, and this is really big. Are you turning the yes movement into the yep movement? Well, Shane. I don't think, Daniel, sorry, allow me to finish, that you specifically would keep Kevin Owens from coming down during tonight's matchup. I don't, I don't think that at all. So in the spirit of fairness and competition, if Kevin Owens is gonna be in Sami Zayn's corner, well then, I guess I'm gonna be down here at ringside during the match myself.
Well, Shane, that wasn't exactly what I was thinking, but since you've declared yourself to be at ringside for the main event tonight, we might as well have Kevin Owens out here too. And if you and Kevin Owens are gonna be out here in the main event. You just made well, the list. I might as well be at ringside too. Well, I guess we're gonna start 2018 off with a bang. And to that, I say yes, yes, yes. Gonna get crowded here at ringside. AJ Styles <laughs> versus Sami Zayn with Kevin Owens, Shane McMahon, and Daniel Bryan all at ringside. What could happen? What could possibly go wrong? The first thing got the worst of that is AJ. Listen, right, this could be one of the smoothest main events we've ever seen on SmackDown Live, or perhaps one of the most combustible. Now we're gonna find out. You can see the expression on AJ Styles' face, already dreading what could come here tonight on SmackDown Live. But there's many superstars, guys, who are looking forward to the opportunity to receive courtesy of Daniel Bryan. Remember, Dolph Ziggler voluntarily relinquishing the United States Championship, creating this championship tournament. It culminates at the Royal Rumble event in four weeks. And the question is, who's gonna move on in round one? Well, the first round matches continue tonight, and I have great news. News, everybody, it's Rusev Day. Oh, God. The songbird of Rusev Day. Aiden English will face off with one third of the New Day. Xavier Woods, both men looking to advance in the United States Championship Tournament tonight. Songbird. Well, it's a new year, and the new year could bring new tag team champions. The Usos set to defend the SmackDown Live tag team titles against Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin. Next. I'm guessing you've heard of the mysterious ghost pepper. But have you ever tasted one? Honey, get ready for something you have never imagined. The bold flavor of my Popeye's ghost pepper wings. I marinate these wings in a blend of peppers, including a dash of ghost pepper, for a whole new flavor adventure. And right now, you get six wings and a biscuit for just $4.99. Taste the mystery of the ghost pepper. Love that chicken from Popeye's. What's better than frosting? More frosting. Oh, great. Now we look even more <laughs> delicious. Huh. Frost world problems. More frosting, more good. Crazy good. Chili's made some major fajita improvements. Chicken and steak for just $10.99. 48% more meat, $10.99. Please sing it with us. It's $10.99. Chili's is back, baby, back, baby, back. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby, Chili's is back. Baby, back, baby, back. You can now reserve a car online, and CarMax will hold it for you up to seven days for free. You come in when it's convenient. I know this because I'm from seven days in the future. Now, don't be frightened. Seven days in the future is a glorious place. After all, you had two good hair days in a row. Perfect. Right out of bed. And this car you reserved at CarMax.com is still being held for you for free. Pretty sweet. Or, as we like to say, from seven days in the future, we still say pretty sweet. It's basically the same. A Bowl Pool. With over 10 million daily players, now's the time to get back in the game. A 
Staple Pool. Download for free now on your smartphone or tablet. The dollar gets you more at Taco Bell, like the new $1 stacker. Are all these layers of beef and cheese reserved for a secret society? Or just anyone with a dollar? The answer is yes. Spectrum TV. Movies, TV shows, prime time. There's always something for everyone. Watch what you want, where you want, when you want. Spectrum TV. You get the fastest starting speeds with Spectrum Internet. And since you don't like to be held back, Spectrum has no data caps. So stream, binge, buy, and stay connected to what matters most to you. Anytime, anywhere, on any device. Spectrum Internet. At Spectrum, we're your friends and neighbors. So connecting you to what matters, matters to us. That's why we're bringing 10,000 jobs back to the U.S while investing billions in our state-of-the-art fiber-rich network. We won't rest until your expectations have been topped. And even then, we probably still won't rest. Spectrum, redefining what a cable company can be. You know your family. We know senior living. Together, we'll make the right choice. They're victims. Can't forget that. Trying to convince me that the LAPD cares about the murder of a young black man. What if it was a white celebrity who got shot? Modern Family, Friday nights on USA. And thank you to the WWE Universe for making SmackDown Live number one on social media last week. And uh, guys, here's one of the reasons why social media is a buzz. This team's been on a roll. Take a look back at how this team earned themselves this title opportunity, trying to rebound off a of clash of champions. It was last week they were put into a triple threat match. Aiden English and Rusev as well against the New Day and Gable and Benjamin. And what a match. And this was a big turning point here, guys. Rusev setting up for the stackalade on Gable and Xavier Woods. Impressive display Ooh. of power by Rusev, but all three elite teams brought their A games and then some risking their own well-being for the right to challenge the Usos for the SmackDown Tag Team titles. And yeah, this match was everything you expected Ooh. and more. It was competitive, it was physical, and it was a shining moment for Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin. Brilliant teamwork down the stretch. Three very talented tag teams, but ultimately it was Gable and Benjamin who would earn this title opportunity. And Grace, they've come close to the goal before, but tonight could be their night. What impresses me most about Gable and Benjamin is just how quickly they have gelled and become a top-level tag team. Both have had tag team success with other partners, but in a relatively short period of time, <laughs> these guys have really come into their own and are a true threat to the tag team. They're excited and ready to get 2018 started off in style. There's another team that's excited. Jimmy and Jay have shown the world anything that you can never bet against the Usos right now. The tag team division on lock. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, yo, Us. You got a tag team standing in the middle of that ring with a New Year's resolution. What's that, Oos? I'm becoming WWE SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions. Standing in front of that team right there is this team right here. Let them know, Oos. The soon to be three time tag team of the year. Let them know, Oos. The boys that's been down since day one. Let them know, Oos. The boys that grind 365 days out the year. You know Iron Man. Let them know, Oos. Five time tag team champions, Jimmy, Jimmy Jay, and Jay. Jay. Ooh. Yeah. Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin, 2018. Welcome to, to the Uso Penitentiary. Well, the look on Shelton Benjamin's face is very telling. I've, I, I've talked about a lot of testosterone in this match, a lot of focus, a lot of energy. The following contest scheduled for one fall is for the SmackDown 
Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 450 pounds, Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable. And their opponents at a combined weight of 479 pounds. They are the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Jimmy and Jay the Usos. 2017 was simply spectacular for Jimmy and Jay the Usos capturing their fourth and fifth tag team championship and guys they could roll right into 2018 the same way they ended last year. all right what's but going on kiddos thank you everybody for joining me while i was down there for a little bit we got some thank yous to give here real quick we gotta give a quick thank you to who we got we got eric da eric dotson carlos caesar gomez and sync vipers thank all you guys so very much for hitting that subscribe button too sweet to you guys and i'll give you the bow um, but i got a llama i got a llama we're not betting on this match no because i got a llama in my hands so i can't really bid on a stream or i can't really bid uh, the with the llama, so we'll have to just kind of uh, hold off on the bidding for right now uh, because llamas. I got her in my hands. I gotta wait till Mama Wookie gets back upstairs. Here. Wow. Okay, she's got all sorts of shit open here. That can go. That can go. Bye. There we go. All right, let's get my chat back up here. Eventually, my chat will be back up. Eventually, there it is. There's my chat. What's going on, Miki? Jacoby, what's going on? You're back. Nate's back. What's going on, Nate? What's going on, everybody? Can't show the screen due to copyright laws. WWE doesn't like it when you show their screen on your stream. Even though I don't monetize it, you can still get hit with that shit, so. Yep, New Year's same trolls. Everybody, show me the screen. I'm going to talk mean to you, and if you don't do exactly what I want, I'm going to talk more mean to you. <gasps> oh, I'm a 30-year-old fucking man. <laughs> Your mean remarks mean nothing to me, so. I drink the tears of trolls. Thank you very much for my, uh, for my morning cup of coffee. Uh, I changed my name. It was Kazable, but it's now Dano C. But, uh, yeah, too sweet to you, brother. I got Livy here. Let me give you too sweet to you, brother. Thanks for coming out again. What's going on, Flying Objects? Long time no see. I saw you for a little bit last night, but that was it. I didn't really see much, uh, much else of you. It's pronounced Pomadu. Did I say that right? Pomadu? Who else in this stream wants to eat Nikki Bella's pussy? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, waiting for the stream to start here. It's going on for you. It's going right now, man. Maybe refresh. I don't think uh, Shelton and Benjamin take the tag titles tonight. Not tonight. Uh, I don't think they're dropping them. I think at the earliest, the Usos will drop them at Rumble. Um, but I really think they're going to hold on to those till mania. What's going on, Tuck? Long time no see you in the chat. What's going on, my brother? Uh, David Johnson's a wanker. Oh, my God. This is the greatest commercial I think I've ever seen. It is a little teddy bear, and he's dancing. Oh, this! Do you see him? Do you see the teddy bear dancing? Look at him dance around. Oh, he's getting down. I thought I saw James pop in there. What's up, James? If I didn't get to you, I got I got the I got the llama, and she's uh. She's uh she's awful wiggly. She doesn't want to sit still today, so I kind of I kind of got to hold on tight to her. 
The Usos versus The Revival. That'd be tough to do, considering they're both on different brands. Oh, man, that'd be tough. I don't want John's leftovers, but Alexa Bliss is... So you don't want John's leftovers, but you'll take Blake Murphy's leftovers? Oh, it's okay, Yama. That might clear the way to make the tag for Jimmy Uso. Gable, I believe, is actually closer to his own corner where Shelton Benjamin waits anxiously. Tag. And Jay Uso. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. There goes Shelton Benjamin over the top. Oh, uh -oh. Jay on the move. Oh, Jay Uso. Oh, down goes Benjamin. Oh, we got right whoopie, back baby. into the ring. Jay Uso oh, looking whoopie. to move. Jay, like a man My New Year's going well the there, DM. Yeah, Thank you very moves. much. Look out. Second target. We got Usos flying all over the place. Yeah, do it again. Do it again. Another dive never hurt nobody. There was a doubt in anybody's mind. Byron, the Usos always. Oh, game ready. Wait a minute. Benjamin just got, got Jay Uso. Oh, my God. That barricade shifted about eight inches. First ever woman's elimination chamber. What's going on, Rafat? It's okay, baby. Why no video? I can't show the video for like the hundredth time. No, I cannot show the video. Why no video? Because it's against YouTube terms and services. That's why. Well, thank you for keeping us in the loop, James. Are you fucking kidding me? Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin are how well they gelled and they just proved it to the world. Well, yeah, I, mean, understandably, the Uso I don't know what just happened there. Gable and Benjamin just shocked the entire WWE universe. I, I, I don't know why. Part of the official not happy with the call here, but it... Guys, we have new tag team champions. I have no idea what's going on here. Like, for real, they just... They just decided to... Oh, wait, what's going on here now? Now we got another guy in the ring. What, is he going to say that the Us... Oh, they're going to do this a ladder match. Guarantee it's going to be a ladder match. I guess I did jinx it. What's going on, Beast? Hold on, guys. We're going to start these replays here. We're going to look at the final Sorry. tag of the match. This is... Watch the tag here in the corner. Jimmy Uso makes the tag to Jay. And Shelton, Shelton Benjamin is legal for his team. You know that Jay Uso, okay, the legal man here. Well, happy, and, uh, happy this, this birthday to you. The matchup. And, and that is Jimmy Uso that was the victim of the double team powerbomb. And Chad Cable. Cable. Cable was not legal for his team. It was Shelton yeah. Benjamin. I think that's our cards, but... She's hungry. Mr. Stein. You just made the list. I will thank whoever just made the list here in a minute. I'm having a little problem here. The referee has recognized his mistake, therefore. The results of this match are null and void, and this match will be restarted. Oh, my. All right. I got to say, that's a good call by our official. Okay, so, no, maybe I didn't jinx it. Today, I'd like to talk about evil men who put on a mask of goodness. One day, the masks will slit, and the truth will come out. What's up, dude? Kill the preacher and you're a free man. About yay big, Noah. About this big-ish, you think? That's a complete I guess. I have no idea. I don't I'm a free man. Oh, he's married? Oh, that's interesting. You just made the list! I could get the external <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not paying attention to the list. I'm sorry, Jerry Trinidad. Too sweet to you, my man. And you get the bow. Also, who do we got? I saw we just saw somebody on here. Scooby86. Too sweet to you guys. With the bow. So what just happened is 
Another referee came down, talked to the first referee. Pizza, pizza. Um, oh, this is fucking useless. He talked to the first referee and said, I think you made a mistake, mate. And the second referee goes, you know what? I think I did make a mistake, mate. And so they restarted the match. Oh, why are they Australian now? Oh, I don't know. All the reps are Australian. I think you made a mistake, mate. And then the other went, went chip, chip, cheerio. I think you're right. What makes DiGiorno crispy pan pizza different than delivery? So this is basically saying, a lot of, uh, with the first year, a lot of partners have questions about their, about their benefits. If you have any questions, contact us here. Okay, well, we probably need that kind of information. Standing in line to get my money and paying my bills with cash. Now, I save time and money with my net spend to MasterCard. Literally now everyone's sitting in the ring confused. Uh, can we bet on the match? Sure. Well, now you know what's going to happen if it's restarting. But fine. You want some free... This is it. This is it, Hoopa. You know what I should do? Where is configuration? Is that where I'm? Mm, settings, maybe. Um, oh, there's no betting setting, is there? Where's my I phone? There is. Um, Jay, where's mama's phone? Right here. I'm looking at it. Can I have it? Yeah, sure. How often do I ask for my phone and not want it? Thank you. Just saying. <sighs> I'm wondering. Okay, so this is this. What was that? A Facebook notification. Oh, wow. Okay. That was interesting noise. I never heard that one. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't know of it unless I, I was looking at it. Didn't I just change your diaper? Yeah, I changed your diaper when I was on the phone. All right. You guys got five minutes to bet. Sorry, I got a little distracted there. I don't even think this is going to last five minutes. And again, guys, we're awaiting the restart of this SmackDown Tag Team title match. Gable and Benjamin, before the break, they thought they'd won this match, but illegal partners had been involved in the, in the decision of the match. I, I get so that illegal won, partners? That's dumb. Was right. Benjamin and Gable oh. got to get back on track here. This match has been restarted. Usos defending their tag team titles here against Benjamin and Gable. Oh. And the Samoan drop. And Jay Uso, guys, before the break, was on an absolute tear, but took that nasty shot right into the barricade. Controversy abounded at the end of the match, but the referees made things right. Who do I think is going to win? It's going to be the fucking Usos now. They had to restart the match. Which is a dumb way. The, the faces should have taken the damn titles and just been done with it. No. Now Benjamin. Benjamin, the cover, had the tights, and a kick out. Uh-oh, spine buster from Benjamin. Bad spine buster by Benjamin. And Benjamin wants to close well, Why are you thinking of shutting down the fundraiser the fundraiser page, James? Sheldon and Chad just need to keep their foot on the gas pedal attempt oh, to oh, once again. Here we go. Oh. This is how they earned the opportunity in the first place. Oh. They only won it earlier tonight. We got Going up a to message. the top rope here. Wait from a minute. Who? Able to look at I responded. Oh. Yep. He's funny. Uh, I figured you could hear a phone. Let's Super kick party. Super Dolphin. kick party. Shelton is down. The Usos about to take flight. Here they go. There's the Usos. There we go. Boo boo. Oh, gee. Look who won. Surprise. Surprise. Happy New Year, Sam. Back and forth match. It looked as though Gable and Benjamin were going to play New Year's spoiler for Jimmy and Jay Uso. But the Usos retain their SmackDown tag team titles. Hats off. 
Yeah, here's my question. What's this going to do to the confidence of Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin? Oh, Byron, they've continued to earn their way to opportunities, but still, this has got to hurt. I also want to take my hat off to the officials, the WWE officials that righted the incorrect call and stopped Jimmy and Jey Uso from being robbed of the tag team titles. Yes, the, the Usos day, are very healed. Those two men, the Usos who should have topped the tag team mountain. Well, let's take a look. But they seem to be playing very babyface in this. this the final tag of said What's going so on? Uso oh boy. Jermoni? Jermoni Toy Show? Did I pronounce that properly? What's going on, Adam? Chaos would ensue, but in the end, Benjamin That's why we don't bet on everything. Everybody wants to, especially Hoopa. Hoopa wants to bet on fucking everything. And if you guys keep betting on one after everything's done, I'm going to choose two. I'll do it. And it was afterwards. Watch the closing moments of the match. Once it had been restarted. This was just incredible. Incredible wherewithal. Incredible placement inside that ring by the Usos. You just made the list. I think I need to look at my boob. You look like you've been through war loss. All right, who do we got? We got Lelson Electrico hitting the subscribe button. Too sweet to you. And the bow. Lelson, thank you very much. We're on the road to 4,500. On, on that road to 4,500, thank you guys very much for all the helping. People bad. Well, let people bad mouth, dude. People are going to bad mouth. Like, well, what's the, the old phrase? Haters going to hate? You got to fuck the haters. They need some haterade. They need some haterade. You can go ahead and just go over to him and just go ahead and brush that salt off his shoulder. You've been granted access to be ringside tonight, but so has Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan. Do you think that's going to affect the outcome of your matchup this week? It's okay. I got it. You focus on your match. I think it's going to affect the outcome. So you're asking if tonight's going to be any different than last week was, basically. Well, let me ask you this. What's, what's different? What's Let's going on, Lucas? I, I had an omelet. Welcome to Last the stream. Egg sunny side up. What That's did you miss? What happened different. so far? Gable. Yep. Gable and Benjamin Last almost won the tag Chicago. titles, and Tonight then they didn't. In Orlando. That is different. Yep. Well, you know what won't be different is tonight's outcome, because last week I beat I AJ Styles, and tonight Sammy Zayn will beat. AJ Styles. Yep. See what's going on, Josh. The audacity to accuse Daniel Bryan of having favoritism towards Are you power bombing the poor girl? In reality, all he's doing is being a good general manager. Are you timing her? Any side? Shane McMahon wants to be out there. Or Daniel Bryan wants to be out there because it doesn't change the reality of the situation. And that does my wife have a big booty? Not anymore. She did have a big old badonka donk, and I loved it. Now it's now it's like a stiff board. That was weird that you said Sammy, but it doesn't matter because look, tonight my best friend is going to prove that to everyone. What's going on, Christopher? The house that that was the only matches thus far tonight. By brick and beats. Ah, who asked? Somebody asked if you had a fat ass. I don't remember who. Did you hear her yelling at me? Mm-hmm. Yep. Will Sami Zayn... Question for everyone. Will Sami Zayn can capture at least first WWE title before WrestleMania 34? What? That's a good question. That's a question I don't even have answers for. Uh, right now, we just did a little Sami Zayn KO promo. Oh, God. Of course, six women tag team action. We don't know. This is what basically what's going on at WWE headquarters right now with all the women on SmackDown. We don't know what to do. We don't know what to do. Put them all in a tag team. That's basically what's going on right now. January 1993. Raw was born.
What would you think if I moved these towards the middle and put legs now, on the end instead? Twenty-five years later, it's just so I could actually, you know, like sit in and scoot my chair in a little bit instead of being out here and being the uncomfortable. Past and present converge for the twenty-fifth anniversary of Monday Night Raw. Okay. What's going on is real. And the Barclay Center, all from New York, all live. Raw 25, live. January 22nd. Second. Be Central there. Only on only Sunday. So I'm sorry, Monday, Monday, Monday. When you hear Domino's, you think pizza. But we're more than that. We're mouthwatering bread. I think they should go back to the beautiful people. I dug it. I dug it. Where is Noah? Noah's, Noah was floating around here. I don't know. Do you like Summer Rae, not the one in WWE, the model one? Aren't they one and the same? I don't know. Wookie, do you think Sammy will turn on KO and go super heel? Probably not. If anyway, it's going to be the other way around. War Machine versus Bludgeon Brother. Who wins? It's a wrestling match. So whoever the booker decides... I think the refs were watching too many New England Patriots football games. <laughs> the women in 2011, bad. Fuck Rusev. No, every day is Rusev Day. Whoever, who said fuck Rusev? Geo, dude. I had such high hopes for you. Every day, Rusev Day. No. No, 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 no. Hey, Wookie, how can I know if it's a good match to bid? Well, let me put it this way. If you're going, hey, Wookie, can we bid on this match? It's probably not a good match to bid. Because the way that I do the bidding and I let you guys bid is if it's a match that's not predictable. For me, Usos and Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin, very predictable. I knew the Usos were going to come out on top. <laughs> I was shocked to see them. But those shocking moments happened so few and far between that, I mean, you know what I mean? And then what ended up happening? They ended up winning anyway. Where did I get the name Wookiee? Star Wars, I guess? Um, well, I'm guessing that's where it originated. Um, I actually ended up with the nickname the Wookiee from my high school football team. I was a big Star Wars fan my entire life, but that's that's where it started was uh, from from my high school football team. Summer Rae, the one with rice gum, the new one with the big butt. Um, I have no idea who that is because I don't watch rice gum. I refuse. He's a fucking turd. Sammy wins tonight, and at the Rumble, it will be a triple threat match with AJ, Sammy, and KO. No, it's going to be Nakamura. Nakamura going up against AJ. Come on, man. Happy, Ru oh, happy Rusev Day, Amanda. That's what Luke says. Fuck you, Luke. <laughs> What's going on, Cody? Welcome. Lissandra, welcome, welcome. He just says these things to He does. Get he says it's upset. just to get you pissed. I wanted to see the Brazongo entrance. I don't like this situation again. This is like going to a, a buffet knowing you're gonna get food poisoning. That's all the worst you can think of, Byron. Look, this is like, this is nice like two, two crooked cops getting ready to find themselves in the electric chair is what we're about to win. They are not crooked, okay? I don't like him in, like, the hot pants. Nice fur. I liked him in the full-length pants. Much better. No, Taker is not coming back. Taker is retired. Quit it. Did you guys see last year's WrestleMania match with Taker and how awful it fucking was? Yeah, just just let Taker go. Okay, I like the Happy Nakamura Day. Happy Nakamura Day. I mean Rusev Day. It wasn't a collision, Phillips. It was a massacre. Completely one-sided in favor of Harper and Rowan. It's not Panda Khan. It's Panda Ka. Like Hanukkah, but with Panda. Because that's that's kind of Mama Wookie's nickname is is Panda. And it's amazing. So, Panda is amazing. So she does Pandaka, which is what? The seven days before your birthday or some BS like that? Because somehow Mama Wookie thinks she gets like 97 days for her birthday. It makes up for all the fuckery for the rest of the year. You can tell they're shaking in their boots. Well, of course they're shaking in their boots, but listen. They're shaking in their boots. Last week, I'll say it again. Sometimes 
We are little tiny cane rip Yeah, Undertaker's gonna come back. He's gonna say a little something. It's it's not gonna be in gimmick. Continued destruction by Harper and Rowan. And just as they were setting up Tyler Wait, what? Hold on. Christopher said something. Could have ended the match right there. I said the triple to. threat match will be at the Rumble. Oh, okay. Shinsuke is already in the Rumble. Okay. I got what you're saying. I got what you're saying. Now. Sorry, I was a little confused. Our best friends are challenging the Bludgeon. Who won the tag title match? That'd be the Ooh, so the Bludgeon Brothers didn't want to wait. They jump started on Brizongo. Oh, this uh, have long. you tried Google, Luke? I don't, I don't know. He's trying to find a decent uh, picture of Enzo for his dartboard. Any ideas where he can find a good one, honey? Happy Rusev Day, Angel. Luke, why do you try to be so mean to me? And Pinterest. There's, there's good pictures of Enzo on Pinterest. Of course you know where the good pictures of Enzo are. <laughs> And there's lots of good um, fin pictures on there, too. My white shirt is too bright. Sorry, guys. I didn't think it was that bad. Nakamura is a favorite to win the Royal Rumble. He faces AJ Styles. Yes. Harper and Rowan just adjusted their target. Like it needs, you don't need much of a target, Byron, when you're hunting. Your butt sweat? Have you tried a towel? That might help you out. No match tonight for the Bludgeon Brothers. You tripping, tripping. It's not a pinata. It's not a pinata. Oh, oh, oh. We got you a gift to help ring in the new year. 2018, baby. Is it the DVD box set of Golden Girls? Uh, not the quite. DVD box set of uh, Golden you know, Girls? From my YouTube channel, Up Up Down Down. It is not. No, it's not. Um, is it a plate of um I don't think Ray is coming back to WWE anytime soon. Is it a Yes, it is. And oh my God, it's a 2018 pancake. Pancake. You can clearly see through that blindfold, can't you? I mean, I'm not making pancakes. I got pancakes. a while back, so yeah. Oh, we'll throw it away. We finished guys, it. Guys, I appreciate it. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. But you got to remember, when I become United States champion, no news on Ziggler. No. Become WWE. I would be on board with Gregory. He's probably coming back to be announced to go into the Hall of Fame. It makes sense. You just made the list. <laughs> oh, Adam Freeney hitting that subscribe button. Too sweet to you, Adam. With the, with the pow. What's going on, Jim? It's fine. He can eat my sandwich. You can make another one. No, please. No. Rusev Day. You know what? That is exactly what's going to happen when I beat you tonight and move on to become United States champion. No, no, no it's not. I mean, look at you three. Acting like little children. Kids. Stuffing your face in fluffy pancakes. <laughs> Stuffing your face in fluffy pancakes. Wishes. Here's what I think about your wish. Why? For what? I stole my wish. The dollar gets you more at Taco Bell, like the new one dollar stacker. Are all these layers of beef? Do you know what happens when you think Ray won't return? Do you know what happens, Wookie? You just made the list. Well, I got a lot of lists to bake. Liberty Mutual stood with me when this guy got a flat Who do you think will be the Iron Man in this Liberty's year's Royal what? Rumble? Yeah, Liberty Mutual. Ooh, Rose Elias would be a good one. I like that. So get home safe. I'll go with Elias. That would be a very Dad good one. Who will Don't induct worry, take? See, everybody that dad. I would choose to induct take her is now dead. <laughs> Maybe. 
Um... You can leave worry behind when Liberty stands with you. Liberty stands with you. Liberty Mutual Insurance. Bears that. Oh, you know you who it should snack, be? But have you ever had a Yo, snack should and duct taker. It won't happen. Time. But you know Reese's who should and duct taker is Pritchard. Pritchard should in duct taker. It won't happen. But it should. Thinning hair? Get topic. Receding hairline? Get topic. Pancakes are stupid anyway. The number one instant solution for uh, I know it's First wrong. Topic, the show, I but Eddie Word. Jeff Hardy is not like returning. I think till after I Mania. I think it's his scheduled return. It's like salt and pepper. Maybe it, it might be it's right around the Mania time. Topic, pure uh, and as people think, I'm using my child as a charity case. Fuller, as thicker. long as you and know you're not using your child as a charity Go case, James, dude, you're fine. Or call now to get don't don't even worry about it. People, it's it's weird. People get fucking jealous. Like, and they think that like you get some sort of special treatment because you're there's something wrong with your kid. It happens with us all the time. Like they think like there's just some like because Jamie has autism like people just pour themselves over us and just give us everything and like that's not how it works at all like and they just they have they don't get it trust me they they have no idea but Alexander Arias hitting that subscribe button too sweet to you with the bow thank you very much sir um. I saw Greg had a question. They just announced the NFL Hall of Fame finalist once again. Terrell Owens is on that list. If he doesn't get in this year, I will lose respect for the idiots who choose who gets in. I won't. Not at all. I will not lose respect for them one bit. Terrell Owens was never a player who played for a team. You'll notice something. Now let, let me explain that because I know a lot of people just went. Whoa. He played for lots of teams. No. Terrell Owens played for Terrell Owens. Terrell Owens reminds me a lot of Des Bryant, where he's out there for Des Bryant. Terrell Owens was the same way. Terrell Owens was out there for Terrell Owens. Terrell Owens wasn't out there to win a championship. Terrell Owens had no aspirations of making his team better. What Terrell Owens was out there for was to get, you know, five catches, 170 yards, and a touchdown. So that Terrell Owens could ask for more money next year. Do you see what I mean? Terrell Owens was never there to go get himself a ring. Terrell Owens was there to make Terrell Owens money. And that was it. So I... As good as Terrell may have been, the fact of the matter still remains is he was a me first player. So I, I if they don't let him in, I'm not angry at all. So it wouldn't have pissed me off at all. Jay King hitting that subscribe button. Too sweet to you, Jay. With the bow. We're on that road. What are we on the road to? 45 honey. Uh, what are we at right now, Luke Birch Birch? Next week, after I beat Zach Roth in the United States Championship Tournament, it's Rusev Day. Mojo Rally. You know it. Ladies and gentlemen, the following not, not surprised. First round, he played for the Packers. Championship tournament match. What? Introducing yeah, he first, played for the Green Bay the Packers on the practice squad for quite a many a number of years. Uh -huh. It's Rusev D. Ladies and gentlemen. Are there a lot of football players that Russell? Uh, Corbin is the only other one that I know of right now. Nyquil? Yeah, wrestling Nyquil. Yeah. DGBCH1. Don't ask me to say that 10 times fast. Time. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Too sweet to you, buddy. With the bow. <laughs> Absolutely the bow. You just made the list. Oh, and David Boringer. Mark your Boringer. Boringer. Hitting that subscribe button. Too this sweet to you. With the bow. The United States. He's so tall. No, John Chenna will not win the Royal Rumble. He's there simply to draw ch small, tiny children For to the show. Aiden English brings a victory to the Rusev Day. 
I'll never ask like Rusev to sing, that's for sure. No, it's a great song. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, goodness. Don't, Don't you dare, dare be sour. sour. Don't worry about it. For your what are you looking at? Famous four-time champs and feel the power. It's a new day. Yes, it is. Damien, what do you mean another stream of being ignored? You're always talking to somebody else in the chat. Accompanied by Kofi Kingston and Big E, New Day member, and Xavier Woods. I'm completely over this whole New Day deal, but I must say, when Rusev just sang, I haven't had that sort of feeling inside since LeFou serenaded Gaston in Beauty and the Beast. You need to see a doctor. What do you mean? That was magic. This We're is in Orlando. This is magic. It's a new year. It's a new day. We got poodles. We got pancakes. You know what's going to be magic? If somehow, some way, <laughs> Xavier Woods were to capture I just read Gary's comment. Yeah, I did too. The entire new day would implode because they're jealous of one another. Well, they said earlier that if it's in Oh, that's great, Gary. I wasn't impressed. Your mama Wookiee's not impressed. I am. That well, says. Let's see how this goes. Uh, Xavier Woods versus Aiden English in the first round of Why this United States title tournament. Listen, Did Roman play you know football? I, and I, have it on very good authority. I don't remember they Roman playing football. Who did he play for? I mean, not like college Woods. ball, because I think Woods. almost everybody plays like high school college ball. You just made the list. Woods and English. But Vashish hitting that subscribe button. Thank US you very title. much, Vashish. Too sweet to remember, you. Uh, it was that With it was the Ziggler bow, who is better for main events? Okay, Google. Clash of Champions, Daniel Bryan, then announcing this tournament. Crown a new United States champion. Uh, please, technical. Please explain. Stone Cold and Goldberg played football. I know Goldberg played. Well, Goldberg, yeah, Goldberg played football. Stone Cold, I don't think he played in. Did he play? I'm talking professional. Professional ball. I don't think Stone Cold played pro ball. And down goes English. The winner of this match will move on to face Jinder Mahal in the next round. Uh, pretty poor of Omega actually showing up at the Rumble. I don't think. I don't think uh, Omega stands a chance actually showing up at the Rumble. New Year's gift. You mean a Rusev Day well, gift? Uh huh. Oh! And Xavier Woods misses. Oh! And right back there on English. Nice recovery. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking pro ball. No college ball. Pro ball. Uh -oh. the honor roll face first into the steel stairs. What great awareness by Aiden English. Bouncing Woods skull first into the steel stairs. John Cena Please. calling Roman Reigns pancakes. protected is like a this prostitute calling a stripper. <laughs> it's true. It's it's true. true. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking pro ball. I'm not talking. I'm not talking. I'm not talking college. Uh, I'm taking Nakamura as my Rumble winner. Vivian Louie. There's your name on the stream. Here. If you can't show the video, don't worry about it. Blind people don't need videos, they just need audio. Okay. They used to have been all over social media ever since the announcement of this match of Byron. Hashtag English 2018. Hashtag Woods US Champ. All right, James. Let, let us know if there's anything else we can do, James. Like, I don't know. I don't really understand. I, I wouldn't shut it down. I'd let the haters hate and, and say fuck them. Yeah, I'd leave it up there too, James. Yeah. Oh, look, Christopher Young's back. You have to worry about you and your family. Weren't you, Christopher, weren't you bitching earlier on? What, did the stream you were at shut down? Like I told you it was? Not a bunch of guys you read about in history books, I wonder if Rusev would be happy for Aiden English if he did become United States champion. Of course he would. Rusev has so many keys to so many cities, he's willing to share the wealth with his friends. Jay, go get a juice. Oh! And kick dropping English in Woods. Yes, Mojo they played for the Packers. He was on the match. practice squad. I already so said your name, Vivian. I wish Kane would show some. Batista joined SmackDown. Oh, oh. 
I'm guessing you mean SmackDown or Raw. Uh, I mean, let's face it, he's going to Raw if he comes back. It wouldn't be for long, though. Oh my god, I thought this was real, but it ain't. No, it's not. What's Woods thinking about here? Oh, wow! What a backbreaker! Everybody win this! Cover! Oh, and a kick out by English. Did you guys notice that Corey Graves said like a minute ago, Alexander Big E so should have been disqualified? He should he if he was competing. He it. Uh, it, I, I always love listening to Corey because he's trying so hard. Look at this, both knees right into the spine of Aiden. He's trying so hard to fill like all roles on the commentary team. I'll call him whatever I want because he's a musical genius. Wait a minute, now going for the cover. Shoulders down. Now English trying to turn it around. Here's the cover. And Woods and English right back up. Uh-oh. Oh! -oh. oh, -oh. And English could be able to do it. on the practice squad for the Vikings and Jaguars for going to see. Oh, okay. I did not know that. What's going on, Lysandro? Oh, well, have a good night, Lysandro. Take it easy. Time out. The impact there on Xavier Woods would not put him away, however. And the New Day still got an opportunity here. Hey, Wookie, haven't here in a long time. What's going on, Daniel? Xavier's lifeless. Enzo has the flu. Like, is it legit? Like 205 Live? There's no Enzo tonight. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a peaceful 205 Live. Hey, that's the only reason why you got me roped into that. Well, I can't control whether Enzo has the fucking flu. Tell Enzo not to party so hard on New Year's Eve. English holding on for dear life. I will not be streaming Wrestle Kingdom because I have to go to work the next morning. And that's at like four in the freaking morning, and I don't actually have to go to work before it's over. I will more than likely be recording it. And uh, taking some matches I think are good and streaming those with some of the Patreons, maybe. This is a celebration, January man. 2nd, 2018, Rusev Day. And Aiden English comes up tragically short. And Jinder Mahal and the Singh brothers know who awaits them in the next round of this tournament. <laughs> Eat your pancakes. Pancakes? That's what you want your champion to be? Represent gluttony? Huh? Listen, imagine... Uh, the well, what, Byron? You got nothing. Go back to Whole Foods. Yeah. That's disgusting. No, like, don't hate on this. Enjoy the moment. Let's take a look back here. At this. Uh, you mean like at the end? You want me to give the show a rating? <laughs> What's this? Can we not oh. Like Kobe didn't just buy a pancake. And yeah, Canadian Football League thing. isn't pro. That was spectacular. Happy to oh, get away from yes, this. Stop it. Put it on the velvet. Let me get some too. No. Throw it in soup. Can we get a new fucking belt design, please? I'm so tired of this belt. I just don't like it. Ricochet is coming. That's enough to be happy, even though Vince will undoubtedly use him poorly. Of course he will. Give me the power of positivity and control of the United States Championship. Don't touch it. 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 Don't Running out of the ring like a bunch oh, of she's fully embracing rats, this crazy cat lady gimmick. Ship, I'd say that we're feeling pretty darn good. She's now wearing cat ears. And I've said What's it up? before. I'm Stop gonna say it again. Members. Before there was a riot now, squad. Telling you this there was a welcoming reason. committee. Why? And that you is us. That's right, Nanny. In 2017, we let the no, riot squad have their fun, but it's 2018 now, so the party is over. 
Finito. <laughs> that means also this very money famous American them. saying, what did they say? Only fools so are Russian. And that's exactly what the riot squad did. They were so excited, they made that a big splash well, and showed the ominous, but in reality, they someone showed someone their hand. And that video. was foolish. I'm sure they did. So, Dosh, let me wrap this up Send for you. Cover, baby. Tonight, the welcoming committee is going to remind the riot squad that while imitation is the most Can't sincere form of flattery, there really is no substitute she's right. she's like th for no, the real she's thing. Not. She's like that. Her yeah. Do it. The welcoming committee of Natalia. All righty, that's a thing. The riot squad next. When is Carmela cash in her money? Dude, who knows? What do you know what about Christmas? She's been holding on to that money in the bank contract for like we what? Find out who really killed the notorious B.I.G. Is it, is it six months yet or is it longer? Task force. It's a cold case. All right, take it easy, Josh. Have a good night, my man. It's been almost ten years. Dude, Natty is the crazy cat lady. Dude, she's fully embracing the crazy cat lady now with the damn ears. Like, and what's sad is she's married. She married a gay man. This case is legendary. And I want to be the cop that was finally able to help solve it. Exactly what I said. She married a gay man. On purpose? I don't think she necessarily knew. Like, is he out? No. He's not out. But everybody, it's one of those, like, everybody knows. Oh, that's her. Do you think Dave now turned nut in his pants during the Omega Jericho match, or can he wait in there? Oh, no, it's happening right there and then, Blue Sniffer. Right there and then. Boom. Right there. Dude, they might have, he might not even make it past entrances. You know if there's the you know there's three things that Dave Meltzer absolutely loves. One is the Tokyo Dome. Two is Kenny Omega. Three, Chris Jericho. He may not even make it through the entrances. Might not even make it. I wonder what Tyson does with the cats when she isn't home. You don't want to know, Jennifer. You don't want to know. Trust me. Trust. Trust. Well, never mind. James is telling you anyways. I love how Christopher Young comes in here. All guns are fucking blazing. When when this whole thing starts, be triggered his pants. <laughs> yeah, but fucking Chris, you come in here, fucking guns a blazing, like fuck this shit, I'm out. Okay, so you come in here, fucking guns a blazing, telling me, oh, I'm gonna go watch this other scream. They showed the screen, and then they got shut down exactly like, gee, like I haven't been around the fucking block before with this shit. Come on, man. The 72 star classic. Come on, Luke. Get it right. Uh, fucking Enzo got pulled from the mix back. Well, he's sick. He's ill. He can't be. I'll give you. Uh, yeah, I I'll give you a grade at the end. I, I don't know. Wasn't there a pro football player in WCW named Kevin Green? I seem to remember. Some nope, nope, nope. That wasn't another Kevin Green. Different one. Why are you scared now? Oh. One? Two? Can you give me one of those flossy thingies? Um, toothpicks? Kinda. Where? The ones with the flossy thingy on there? In the medicine cabinet? Yeah, soft toothpick. No service meeting tomorrow. What? Uh huh. Oh, that's right, that's right. No service meeting tomorrow. Knuckle bumps. We like no service meetings. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I just got an email from work. No meeting tomorrow. And that makes me excited. Almost excited as Dave Meltzer. Carl Malone! Oh, throwing up the DDP? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, 
awesome. Yes, yes, John Stockton's around. I got to get now. Except for six women tag team action here in Orlando tonight. Ferret's two kids sick easily. What? No, I got Colonel. Oh. Does it feel like so, does it feel like like so much better now? Yeah. Hey, double. We got uh, we got the the what do you fuck we call this? We got Natalia, Carmella, and uh, Tamina. Was it the welcoming committee? They're gonna be taking on Ruby Riot. Um, the Riot Squad. I can't. Uh, I know we got uh, Liv Morgan, and I can't be bothered to fucking remember who the third one's name is. SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte who's taken the brunt of the Riot Squad's More manly. To try and help out. But once again, the numbers would be proved to be too Inbred. Much, That's what we'll call her from now on, Inbred. Until here came the Cavalry. Now, this was an interesting point. The welcoming committee seemingly reforming and Natalia early on tonight called this Boy, the quote, rats escaping the sinking ship. Now, this is what happens um, make the girl that they're trying to play as a redneck, division. that one. You start the fire In the jeans. If you're the Riot Squad. Matish, the Usos retained their titles tonight. Okay, you can't have her as a heel with that music. Yeah, I'm sorry. She just looks like I wouldn't even take her home to Mama. I like how they put Carmella and Liv Morgan on the same show. They're the same fucking character. Maybe that's why they did a. Maybe that's why they gave a uh, costume change to Carmella. Wookie, check your Twitter. I shall check me Twitter. There hasn't been a whole lot going on tonight, Ryan. We got Matisse hitting that subscribe button. Too sweet to you, Matisse. With the bow. Thank you very much. We're on that road to 4,500. I don't imagine we're getting close. Dude, I gotta go to work in the snow. It'll be fro. It'll be fucking frozen. Why am I checking my Twitter, Gary? Multiple time women's champion and incredibly dangerous competitor. Hey guys, we've talked about it. The Royal Rumble is the beginning of the road to WrestleMania. In fact, we're in the site of last year's WrestleMania. This is the time when every superstar steps up their game. I mean, you can just feel it. You know, walking around the locker, room, walking around the backstage. I don't know what I'm looking for. Every superstar has that look in their eyes. Oh, look out! The disc is closed line. Here's the cover by Natalia. Yeah, and the kick out. The Whereas last night on Raw, you actually picked the Empress of Swell. Oh, 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 Would you rather oh, fuck Paige or the Redneck from the Riot Squad? I would I'd rather cut it off. Can they get back in it against the welcoming committee? Mike, what the hell happened? Oh, come on. This woman's. We've barely seen any wrestling tonight. These commercial breaks are getting crazy. Dude, juice. You I just don't know why you list. think you can just put a straw in my drink and now all of a sudden it's yours. John Bradson in that subscribe button too sweet with the bow. As we got Jamie trying to eat drink up all my drink. Thanks, buddy. Ugh. Soda. Soda. All my drink. What happens for U.S. champion after Dolph returns? Who knows? Who knows if he's coming back? What's going on, Hunter?
Rusev Day is a good reason. Dude, the New Day are good. Uh, who else we got going on? We got the New Day. I like the New Day with what they're doing. I mean, the pancake thing is kind of a... That's kind of a weird gimmick, but I'll take it. And then... Um, who else we got? Rusev Day is good. New Day I'm enjoying. Usos I'm enjoying. Gable and Benjamin I'm enjoying. I, there's not much I'm not enjoying about uh, about SmackDown. So. Who do we got here? Karen, what's going on? We are rearranging right now, Entity. What you will see behind us very shortly will be Mama Wookie's new studio. And if anybody wants to help me come move a heavy-ass couch to the side of the road, I might buy pizza. <laughs> but we're turning our living room into our studio, so everything's kind of piled up right now for the purposes of uh, kind of just getting it out of the way. And we got to get our Christmas tree down, too, this weekend, I think. Weekend. This weekend, yeah. That'll get me some more room to work right with. What Sarah Logan is all about. Because when's your lighting kit coming? Soon it just got uh, ordered. Got shipped. Oh, got ordered. Uh -huh. And that thing's probably a beast too, isn't it? Probably what, like six, seven, eight pieces. Well, it's gonna have two box lamps, which you know, they're they're big. I've had three. Oh, three of them? And what else? Oh, just that's it? Oh. Oh, we gotta put your backdrop back there. The later, later number you draw, the more likely we got to figure out a place for all your props to go. But then again, there have also been instances where early draws have gone on the win. Okay. What's going on, Thomas? Thanks for joining in. As me and Mama Wookie are kind of having a small talk about what's going to happen in the background. Maybe Mama Wookie will let me put up the green screen again. That'd be kind of cool, huh? We'll have plenty of lighting, too. Did you guys hear that? Three box lamps. Those things are fucking massive. Oh no, not those. What are they called? Moon lamps. We are seeing a growing level of momentum behind those three young ladies, the Riot Squad. God, they got to change her music. These type of things. These umbrella lamps. But maybe not. You're getting three umbrella lamps, or are you getting these these bad boys? I don't know. I got a look. Damn, are you getting one of them? Not a clue. Well, thank you very much, Kimberly. Jamie, get your feet out of there. Out of where? Out of the Orbeez. I bet Why? everybody here if in he Orlando to use it, he can. believes in magic, Why would you right? say it now? Hold her for a second. Wrong. Magic? It isn't real. It's just like each and every magic one of you. Oh, oh, it's magic. You know. You know. Day in and Dude, day out. Dude, milk, if you sent me a pizza, I'd totally eat it. your dreary lives. Pretending that you're happy. When deep down, you're all miserable. What's going on, Jamie? You all need a strong dose of reality. Well, so take a good look. Livy Lama does demand a lot of respect. Is real. So respect my doctor. 
Tell them, say respect me. Real. Respect Our me. Success is real. That's why <laughs> you don't eat the microphone. Morgan and uh, the, Morgan the Riot Squad just won. Uh, Christian, what's going on, Pedro Lopez? Women's Royal Rumble match. Teddy, dude, why aren't you sending me them pies, man? This is no woman, Saxton. This is a queen you're talking about. This is the woman, the SmackDown Women's Champion. Ah, uh, where's Blair. her belt? Woo! I mean this. Congratulations. Feeling good, on your Tiffany. Victory. And Ruby. Uh, that that was quite the speech. Yeremy, yeah, she is with you. four months I old now. I am a dreamer. Four months old, right, honey? Yeah. F four months, and nine days, I guess. Here, I What's going on, Rito? Power and magic of my dreams. Find something you're passionate about, and your world can change. But Ruby, you said uh, you believe in reality. So let me give you a dose of reality. Actions have consequences. Woo! So let me introduce you to someone who wants to teach all three of you a lesson. Oh, Orlando's own. No better place to teach that lesson for Naomi on the SmackDown Women's right here in Orlando last year at WrestleMania. Huh? Here it is, Yeah. Oh, yeah. And let me in. Introduce you to someone Go get a juice. who wants to make you pay for your mm. actions. No, is Neither is my soda. It's fucking Becky Lynch. Watch. It's Becky Lynch. My oh my! <laughs> She's back! What? One of the first targets of the Riot Squad Ready? was Go Becky Lama. Lynch. Oh, All right, we're back. I'm glad Becky kind of got rid of the whole steampunk thing. I wasn't digging that. Yeah, she's not really in the steampunk anymore. Oh, in Charlotte. All right, squad, finding out there are consequences for your sins. And look at Naomi. Oh, man. Ooh, a lawsuit. You have a lawsuit now too, Tiffany? You got to it. I don't know. What a way to make a return and impact. Becky Lynch. Right now we got Becky Lynch, uh, Naomi, and Charlotte beating the crap out of the Riot Squad. Dude, for real. Message to the Riot Squad, you want to run this division, you got to go through us. Uh, Charlotte Flair just said actions have so she's consequences. So she said, like, don't get me. Yeah. What are the consequences? Better than that other gimmick. Yes, we will be doing 205 Live tonight. Me and Mama Wookie will be trading places. Kind of like, you know how AJ Styles is phenomenal? Fantastic. Right, you know how like Sasha is like, the boss? That's, that's her gimmick. That, that's her. Uh, All right, guys. I'm going to take a quick test. break. I'm going to go to the little Wookiee's room. 
and uh, I'll be right back for you guys. Compete in live mixed tag team action. give it up. This is my someone The dollar gets you more at Taco Bell, like the new $1 stacker. Are all these layers of beef and cheese reserved for a secret society, or just anyone with a dollar? The answer is yes. Liberty Mutual stood with me when this guy got a flat tire in the middle of the night, so he got home safe. <sighs> yeah, my dad says our insurance doesn't have that. What? You can leave worry behind when Liberty stands with you. Liberty Mutual Insurance. If you're anything like me, your to-do list is crazy, which is why the online finance application at CarMax.com is so convenient. Get some of that finance stuff done from wherever you are, like at the doctor, karate, or back at the doctor. <laughs> Yay, kids! I gave you this so that if you ever get scared, you can go. People who need help with matters that can't be explained. <laughs> Come to me. Are you there? Whistle, if you can hear me... Is there an entity in this house that is trying to hurt me? Are you that entity? Are you behind this wall? There's nothing. Insidious, the last key, rated PG-13. Pizza with Pepsi. Delicious. Give extra, get extra. Looking for balance in your digestive You just system? made the list! Tri-Line Probiotic. For a non-stop, sweet treat goodness, Hold on to your tiara kind of day. Get 24-7 digestive support with Align, the number one doctor-recommended probiotic brand, also in kids' chewables. Your insurance company won't replace the full value of your total new car. The guy says, you picked the wrong insurance plan. No, I picked the wrong insurance company. With new car replacement, we'll replace the full value of your car, plus depreciation. Liberty Mutual Insurance. If you've got five bucks, you could make a random meal playing dollar menu bingo. Anybody have fish sandwich? Or you can get a real meal with a Charboiled Double Cheeseburger, Spicy Chicken Sandwich, Fries, Drink, and a Cookie. The $5 All-Star Meals, only at Carl's Jr. and Hardee's. You get the fastest starting speeds with Spectrum Internet. And since you don't like to be held back, Spectrum has no data caps. So stream, binge, buy, and stay connected to what matters most to you. Anytime, anywhere, on any device. Spectrum Internet. Spectrum Internet has the fastest starting speeds for the price. No data caps, no speed throttling. Just better performance and the reliability you expect. Spectrum Internet. Spectrum TV. Movies, TV shows, prime time. There's always something for everyone. Watch what you want, where you want, when you want. Spectrum TV. Things, which is why you need Namely, the HR platform employees love to use. Namely streamlines benefits, payroll, and time management. You just made the across list! the entire company so you can focus on building a better workplace for everyone every day. Schedule a free demo today at Namely.com. Namely, HR for humans. I'm doing this mission across America to find my football team. It's all football Fanatic. Stream the premiere episode on demand. The big news yesterday, 16-time WWE Champion free agent John Cena announcing on Twitter he will be a part of the Men's Royal Rumble match. Cena looking to win the Rumble for a third time in his career. And guys, it takes place three weeks from Sunday in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at the Wells Fargo Center, streaming live on the WWE Network in Byron. It is shaping up to be the greatest Royal Rumble event ever. And we know the Royal Rumble pay-per-view kicks off the road to WrestleMania, which of course features the traditional 
men's Royal Rumble match where 30 superstars compete and are eliminated by being set over the top rope with both feet hitting the floor. And of course, the winner gets a guaranteed title opportunity at WrestleMania. And we heard a few other declarations for this match earlier tonight. History will be made in Philadelphia. For the first time ever, we will see a 30-woman over the top rope Royal Rumble match. The same rules apply as the men. Someone will earn a guaranteed championship opportunity at WrestleMania. The women's evolution takes center stage again. Plus, we have a triple threat match for Raw's Universal Championship as the Beast. Brock Lesnar defends against the Big Red Machine Kane and the monster among men, Braun Strowman. And gentlemen, under triple threat rules, Brock Lesnar does not have to be pinned to lose his championship. And since we're talking about championships, how about the SmackDown Live United States Championship Tournament Finals, which will take place at the Royal Rumble. We already know Jinder Mahal, Bobby Roode, and of course, earlier on tonight, Xavier Woods have all advanced to the second round of the tournament. It all goes down three weeks from Sunday in Philadelphia at the Wells Fargo Center, and you can be a part of it. Head to wwenetwork.com right now to sign up and get the Royal Rumble event as part of your 30-day free trial. If there was ever a fight designed for me, it's the Royal Rumble match. 30 superstars, anything goes. I can't wait. The only way to eliminate your opponents is by throwing them over the top rope. I can't wait. It is every superstar for themselves. I can't wait. The Lone Wolf is officially in the Royal Rumble match. And I can't wait to main event Wrestle Mania. It's a game changer, the Lone Wolf in the Royal Rumble match. Get ready. And remember what awaits at WrestleMania for the winner of the Royal Rumble match. A guaranteed title opportunity. You just made the list. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds. Here's the WWE Champion, the Phenomenal. And it could very well be this man, AJ Styles, who awaits the winner of the Royal Rumble match at WrestleMania in New Orleans. AJ made his intentions known earlier tonight. The phenomenal one fully intends on being WWE Champion as we roll into New Orleans. I've had a lot of conversations with AJ Styles, and that's one of the main points he's made, that in his career, it has been a lifelong goal to not only compete at WrestleMania, but to defend the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. And right now, Byron, we saw the uh, the frustration earlier tonight from AJ Styles. He's trying to vex some issues from 2017 here in the form of Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. AJ Styles, prime opportunity. All right, kiddos, we're back. Hovering above this situation. We are back. What is going on, everybody? We've got we got Martin, Richo. You said it earlier, this could either go swimmingly or it could go absolutely terrible. Listen, we're not going to fool ourselves and say there isn't tension between Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon, so we can only Here we go. that both the commissioner and the general manager are on the same page. I, for one, am just very happy Daniel Bryan's here to keep an eye on Shane McMahon because uh -oh. we know Shane's temper. Trying to watch Clay. What the hell is Claymore? And who knows what could happen. Well, Shane said earlier, I'd rather see matches decided on an ability rather than interference and disruptions. Well, Shane McMahon should, should probably stay in the back then, I mean, because he's been doing most of the disrupting. AJ Styles, the WWE Champion, will face Sami Zayn, Shane McMahon at ringside, Daniel Bryan at ringside, Kevin Owens will be in the corner of Sami Zayn. No, she didn't. Styles I'm doing downstairs. One-on-one. -on -one. Next. 
kill the preacher and you're a free man. Not if I kill you first. Either way, I'm a free man. Here we are. Yeah, promo. We've had a good couple of weeks here, my man. Are we the best team or what? I know we're just a few off of 4,500. My New Year's was great, Elliot. How was yours? I hope you guys had a good New Year's. My favorite superstar right now is the phenomenal A. J. Styles. When you hear Domino's, you think pizza. But we're more than that. We're mouth-watering bread twists, oven-baked sandwiches, pastas, chicken, and pizza. Uh, right now, Just I think, who is it? Is AJ versus Sammy? We didn't stop at pizza, and you, you don't have to it. either. And make sure Chili's made some major fajita improvements. Chicken okay. and steak for just ten ninety nine. Forty eight percent more meat ten ninety nine. Please sing it with us. It's ten ninety nine. Chili's is back, baby, back, baby, back. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby, Chili's is back. Baby, Thank you very much, WWE Money Boy. Greatly do appreciate the sub. Too sweet to you. Forty four eighty nine. We are eleven away. Can we hit forty five hundred tonight? Can we do it? What are you doing? You want to go there? Home, auto, life. Oh, business, hold on, guys. I'll be farm, right. Boat, RV, ATV. Love a love dub dub. <laughs> no, we're talking real insurance Sorry. coverages, Brad. Not third down. Camper, pet, Thank motorcycle, you. your tour bus. Did I mention farm? Mm, for I, I can't tell. In love. All right, we're back. That wasn't so hard. That wasn't so hard. Yeah, I think we got AJ Styles going up against Sami Zayn. Will he read up what I said about the lawsuit? Okay, let me find it. Let me find it, Tiffany. How far up do I got to go? dealing with a different animal here, boys. Anybody moves, you shoot. I ain't cuffing up. Do we look like ops who arrest you? You're not the bad guys. We are. Find it, Tiffany. Scrolling pretty far up. Oh, yeah, well, if he's suing the company who caused the car accident. Oh, okay, yeah, definitely. Go go get him, girl. If they put you out of commission, go get him. Go get him. Too sweet to you, WWE Money. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button, sir. Pro Room Furnishings is all about exceptional service. We needed a network and a provider. Um, yeah, it is Sami Zayn, right? Not KO? I believe it's Sami Zayn. So I'm going to give you guys 10 minutes. AJ or Sammy, who you got? It allows us to set ourselves apart from our competition by delivering the legendary... Well, thank you very much, Christian, for hitting that subscribe button. Greatly appreciate it. Bets incoming. Too sweet to you, Christian. Thank you very much. We are 11 away if we could hit 45 honey tonight. That would be fantastic. I would I would totally love it. We still got another hour with 205 Live coming up next with Mama Wookie. She'll be doing 205 Live with you guys. Do I remember the Ultimate Warrior? Of course. I remember the Ultimate Warrior. Kitty Academy Educational Child Care. Now enrolling nationwide. Call or visit today. I'm the one here day in and day out. This is my show. Hold on, guys. I you just I made the, the list. Part. Oh, Mauricio hitting that subscribe because button. I am the part. Intercontinental champion, WWE champion, hot white movies. Never mind. We're, we're flipping back and forth, back and forth. But thank you very much, Mauricio, hitting that subscribe button. Too sweet to you, sir. With the bow. Stone Magazine's Superstar of the Year, The Miz. That's right, AJ, all the way. Live next Love me some AJ. USA. Oh, go follow Luke Birch over at his Twitter, Birch Birch 1875. Favorite of 205 Live. 
Fair fight. Um, I'm gonna go with. I love Cedric Alexander. I just wish they'd fucking do something with him. He just gives no damn reaction whatsoever, and it's sad. But I, I love, I love me some Cedric Alexander over in 205 Live. You're not supposed to be awake. Go to bed, homie. This is SmackDown, Karen. This is SmackDown. This is SmackDown. Ow, it's Yuck Nasty. What up, Yuck? One on one against Kevin Owens, but this is what was happening at ringside. Sami Zayn appeared to be checking on Kevin Owens, and AJ Styles will take out Sami Zayn preemptively. Well, Sami wasn't doing anything wrong. AJ Ooh. took it upon himself to attack Sami Zayn, who was innocently trying uh, to help no, his no, friend. No, nothing wrong. See uh, uh, Mania, oh, maybe. Up on the apron, creating an maybe before Mania, who knows? Kevin Owens, the tremendous super kick, but somehow the champion would find <laughs> Luke Burch on the twat box. McMahon, who expressed concerns already about Sami Zayn being in the ringside. Look, Shane had good intentions. He tried to get Sami Zayn away from the ringside area to keep this a fair matchup. And then as the pinfall was going down, the official was making sure Sami Zayn left ringside, but didn't have his eye on the floor. Well, unfortunately, Shane McMahon's altruism would lead to a distraction for AJ Styles, and Kevin Owens would pick up a victory. Over um, the I will not be doing Champions. Wrestle Kingdom because I have to work the next day, so... No, or I have to work tonight. that day, I guess you could say, because WWE or uh, Wrestle Kingdom's on at like four in the morning here, so I won't be able to do it. Oh, oh. AJ Styles right out of the box, not going to give Sami Zayn any quarter. AJ Styles just ticked off tonight, and you can't blame him. I'm sure AJ Styles was embarrassed, humiliated even last week. To lose the I am a big, well, I like, I like them both, that said, but I'm a big Sammy fan, or a big AJ fan, sorry. I got five on AJ, and I'm about to do the RKO on the company. Put me on it. Just RKO, just get off, just RKO him. You just made the list. Oh, Nathan hitting the subscribe button too sweet to you. With the bow, where are we at, Luke? Are we are we getting close to 4,500? Oh, I love me some AJ. I was a big AJ fan back in the day. Even when he was in TNA, I knew this guy was special. I knew there was something good about AJ Styles. Dude, is he is CM Punk even gonna get a second fight? He has a personal vendetta against Sammy and and a kick out by Styles. Uh, if your if your email or if your account does not send an email, or your account is set to private, legendary gamer, it, it won't pop up. If if you are set to private, I don't know why. Well, I do know why, obviously, because you're not you're not allowing your information to be held out. So. Take a look back at this textbook back body drop from Zane. The incredible height from which Styles crashes down. 4492 8 away. Tell a friend, tell a wrestler, tell your mama. We're getting close. We are 8 away. Are you streaming on the computer? Um, yes, that's the only way I know how to stream. Yeah, Wrestle Kingdom's at 4 a.m. Oh, did I spell Zayn wrong? My bad if I spelt it wrong. Well, I added an E. My bad, guys. Yeah, AJ still got the title. Oh no, Omega's Omega's holding on to that title. Make no bones about it, Omega ain't dropping that title. Daniel not letting his emotions get the best of him. But uh, Sammy's it's not home. because I upload vid, but it's uh, but if it is how do I change it? I'm not sure what you mean, gamer. He was 24 when he was killed. Tupac was 25. Kids, man. Um, it's not because of the bits. I, I don't know all oh, you. How do you change it? I have no idea. And it's something you'd have to look into. I have not a clue. Yeah, Jericho's doing the J-O-B. For sure, Jericho's doing the J-O-B. He's doing the J. 
O, B, and good legendary. night. Oh, cheeseburger in a free shake. That's my kind Again. of Again. Hot and cool. Okay. How are you hot? Okay. Get a free smart. What you see, llama? Little head and shoulders commercial. Ooh. You see all the snow? Look at all those guys doing those crazy flips. Hmm? What do you think about that? Yeah, mine's on commercial too, obviously. Like I've told you guys in the past, I'm always going to be behind you because YouTube has a delay between what I'm doing and what I'm seeing and the actual stream itself. There's always going to be a delay. There's no way I can stop it. That's uh, that's YouTube. And what's funny is, you know, a multi-cajillion dollar company can't get a less of a delay. It's It's kind of sad, really. Oh, God, Shadow, no. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I would love for CM Punk to return. Mm. Especially at Rumble. Oh, that'd be great. Where are you going, Llama? To the point where if Jericho Naito would go on a list of shit to do, rewatch the TLC main event. Yeah, I, I think it's it's Sammy's gonna win this one with Kevin Owens' help. Can you say hi, Jennifer? Say hi, Jennifer. Oh, you're getting grumpy. Yes, we do all pay-per-views, Salman. I know if Batista returns, I don't think he wins. I, I really honestly think it's going to be uh Nakamura. Nah, <laughs> little Wookie kiddos. I wish there was a better way of doing this. Because she wants to watch the TV, but it's so hard to do it. We, yeah, I live stream all the pay-per-views, Karen. Would I rather have Reigns turn heel or CM Punk return? Well, I mean, that's a tough one since I know one's not CM Punk's not coming back. At ringside, general manager Daniel Bryan, commissioner Shane McMahon, as well as Kevin Owens in the corner of Sami Zayn. Well, I think this is exactly what you want if you're Daniel Bryan. Dean's McMahon. gonna be out for the Rumble. Dean, no Dean will not be here. A one on one matchup between Sami Zayn and AJ Styles. Has anyone Owens told you you sound like. No, nobody's ever actually told Sammy me I sound like Jim Gaffigan. I'll tell you what, guys. Yeah, just, just, just like it was last week, right? When Sami Zayn was out there for just moral support. Sami Zayn didn't do anything wrong before. AJ um, I gotta relook at who I, I don't know. Who's all gonna be? Something tells me they're just gonna slap it back on Corbin. Say, let's go, AJ. Let's go. Shane McMahon is not taking his eyes off of Kevin Owens, keeping a close eye on what he and Zayn do. It's probably just a matter of time before Shane blows his top. I mean, that's what Shane does. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Shane better keep his eye on Daniel Bryan. Oh, oh, and look at AJ firing off. And now Styles flies in with a forearm. And the WWE champion is an opportunity now. To um, no. Wrestle Kingdom literally starts at 4 a.m. for me. AJ Styles wants to start the new year on a positive note. You can do that by earning a victory over Sami Zayn. Okay, who's most Sammy likely Zane to turn heel, Dan? Um, on their Shane I think McMahon. Shane's the one turning heel here. Styles to fire up. Cincinnati, Ohio. I've been to Cincy. And now Styles, look at this. Oh, what a gut buster. There's a cover on Zane who kicks out. 
Innovative offense from the world champion. Yeah, Dean's Maybe gone for a while. So successful ever since he first appeared here at WWE in this very arena two years ago. Dude, I, to, if you guys ask me, I don't think WWE even knows who's the next, Styles, who the next U.S. champion is going to be. I think they're literally just making this shit up as they go. And AJ Styles elbows right there on the side of the face and Sami Zayn to the outside. Oh, yes, yeah, I agree with Jennifer. <laughs> Punk's not coming back right unless there. he's broke and needs he's the money. Smiling to himself, proud of the job he just did. A smart move there, trying to create a little separation between he and the champion. And AJ Would you rather Styles have a beer with down. CM Punk or a Pepsi with Stone Cold? It's kind of an AJ odd Styles mix. A good job here in this um, from really getting going. Oh, oh, considering oh, that. No, dude, I'm I'm telling you, Luke, it's it's 4 a.m. here. That may finish the job. And to put away Sami Zayn, put to the leg, out at two and a half. Well, Jer Jericho is returning Karen. He's just going to happen to be on Wrestle Kingdom. <laughs> uh, do I, wa I watch all the other sports, Salman. The only sports I don't watch, I watch football, baseball, and basketball. I don't watch anything other than that. about the Styles Clash. Kevin Owens on his best behavior. Of course, you would expect that with the general manager. See, I don't. I don't think it's gonna. I think. I think that SmackDown's gonna win it again this year. Limp there, trying to prevent AJ Styles from hitting the Styles Clash. I hope. I hope. I hope he gets a monster push. Cover. No, no, no. Kicked out. Sami Zayn almost pinned the WWE Champion, much like his best friend did last week. At least he would have done it on his own. No, Shahid, I cannot show the show. Take it easy, Patriza. Focus entirely on Zayn and Owens. Mm -hmm. He's got to be eating at Shane McMahon. Shane hates to see Sami Zayn. Oh, oh, oh. I am a cheese head. I am a big Packer fan. With the calf crusher. Lay it in. Lay it in. Look at the face of Sami Zayn here, all locked up with AJ Styles. Styles pulling back on the left leg. Desperation mode for Sami Zayn. Back no, Taker is retired. He's not coming back. Guys, I can't do Wrestle Kingdom. I, I can't afford to call in another day. I gotta save my call-in days. I can't afford to. Like I said, it's at like 4 a.m. I gotta work on Friday. Can't do it. On the face of the commissioner. Get a lot of emotions in the ringside area. <laughs> I don't make enough money off YouTube was done to, the leg of to uh, be able to, to like work part time. I make nothing off these videos. But this job is a good job as a general manager. Unlike Who do you want to? I'm, I'm all in for Nakamura winning the Rumble. That's that's my choice. Yeah, I need my sleep. God, what a fight here on SmackDown Live. Who can hit who harder? That's what we're trying to figure out right here. Oh, and a Pele kick. Looks like Styles won that one. And somehow you Sammy just made the list. We got right, Daily Fun hitting that subscribe button. Too sweet to you, Daily Fun. And I give you and the llama. Styles zeroing in. She's oh, way better than the bow. Trust oh, me. A She's adorable. Styles in position. Farhan Therid, there is your shout out. No, Wrestle Kingdom will not be on Netflix. You gotta subscribe and pay 999 yen to uh, to the New Japan Network, I think it is. Yeah, he's scheduled to show up for the 25th anniversary show. It's, he's not wrestling. He's he is he is a he is retired from in-ring performing. If gender win, I'll be... No, gender's not winning. My word, no. 
Yeah, New Japan World. New Japan World. Stab Genoa. Hitting that subscribe button. Too sweet to you, buddy. And again, we have a llama. She's so cute. Kevin Owens has been ejected. Packers went down with Rodgers, but I can't say much because the Cowboys went down with Zeke. Why don't you leave with him? Yeah, it's yeah, it's like eight ninety five, nine ninety five, something like that. So, <laughs> again, the general manager's fuck over Daniel Bryan. Oh, my God, it's too much. It's legit too fucking much. Daniel Bryan was looking out for the best interests of all the superstars and having a fair contest. The referee, it was trying to avoid being crashed into the ring. Pay attention. Always is blocking the referee. Always is blocking the official from getting inside the ring. Tell me you don't see that. Shaving may had every reason to toss Kevin Owens out of here. No, this was a completely unprovoked attack. There's Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon on the outside. Oh my. Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens put his hands on the official, blocked the official from getting in the ring, and he got exactly what he deserved. If you would stop speaking for a minute, you could have heard Kevin Owens ask the official. Yes, I did shout you out, Farhan. Oh, Sam, you can't do anything on your own. Two weeks in a row. Where are you? You. And you. I don't know whose side you're on anyway. Stop bickering like children. <laughs> I'm the WWE champion. I want to come out here and entertain these people with somebody else getting involved. You know what? Here's a thought. Here's a thought so I can make everybody happy. Why don't you just make those two in a match with me? Why don't you make it a handicap match? Yeah, buddy. That's it. At the Royal Rumble, AJ Styles will defend his championship against both Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. No, in a Justin. Match. Are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? I, I can't believe this. What's going on, Quran? Okay? AJ wasn't serious about that. A handicap match? No, CM Punk is not returning. Stop it, you. All right, now that it's over for Chrisley, let's move over to 205 Live here. Real quick. Mama Wookiee, I'm sure, will be here shortly. <coughs> See what we got going on here in 205. I'm kind of digging the storyline. It's not bad. <laughs> Let's face it. They've done far dumber things. Therefore, I will not be defending my Cruiserweight Championship tonight on Raw. Had I been there tonight, I would have wiped the floor with Cedric Alexander. In fact, I wish I was... <laughs> Cedric Alexander. He kind of did, didn't he? Yes, now it's 205 live. Cedric Alexander. I came here expecting a cruiserweight championship match. Now since Enzo is sick, which one of you two will it be stepping up in his place? Yes, now SmackDown's done. SmackDown goes from seven to nine. And from nine to ten is two oh five live. Normally I have Mama Wookie on here. Um, I'm not sure what she's doing right now. But uh Oh, she's changing the llama. So normally I'd have Mama Wookie on here, but I'm I'll be I'll be I'll be your stewardess until Mama Wookie gets back. I'll 
feet right here. Okay, sounds good. Got Sophie next to me. And I'm having Mama look his phone. Yeah, I because that's, that's dumb. I don't like the handicap match. Like, what the hell is going on? Mama Wookie's old phone is mine because I found it. Yes, you did. In I do love... I Cedric's theme is probably one of the best themes out there right now. I Absolutely. Show, I will show you Mama Wookie. And it's an iPhone, a big one. I think Mom's phone. Oh, she is. Enzo is in the hospital right now, James. I think. Uh, Salomon, we're on 205 Live right now, man. Take it easy right now. Only thing that's made AJ Sterling good is if he loses at Royal Rumble and then Bullet Club. Well, how is he going to get the Bullet Club, though? The, bullet, the club is on... The club's over on Raw. Like, he can't have the Bullet Club. Uh, well, probably. You're probably right, Leon. Take it easy, Mauricio. Have a good night. Popo is back. What's going on, Popo? Yeah, hopefully there's some in. Well, see, that's the thing that I'm worried about is that they're going to break up Sammy. They're going to break up Sammy and Kevin, and that's a good thing right now. I don't want them broken up. Right now, they are hot. So leave them together for a little while longer. Uh, Mama Wookie wanted to do 205 Live, so I kind of let her. The most exciting hour of the first shot is them panning over people who just couldn't, couldn't be bothered to give a fuck. Is my math, why would your math be fucked? I don't know. I know it's four. It's four o'clock every year. Every single year, it's 4 o'clock. Hey. Ooh, Tommy versus Gallagher. Every, everyone has noticed Jinder's back knee. Last match, Sami Zayn won, and that's what, that's what the triple threat was. Uh, oh, Goldust is on 205 Live tonight, huh? Interesting, interesting. Farhan, yes, you got a shout out. I've now shouted you out like three times. I I kind of dig where we're at right now, man. Like, I got no problems where with where we're at right now. Ha! 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 What? Nothing. Are you doing 205 Live, or am I? I'll do 205 Live. Mm -hmm. Okay, put her down. Logan, you, well, you all know why Logan Paul is number one and trending right now, right? What's going on, Samuel? You're not gonna, you're not gonna shove her in. You did hear Sophie. Sophie's got to go take a bath. School starts up again tomorrow. Okay. Wow. The 
How long has it been since we've seen TJP? What a return and what a way to start 2018. Certainly what a way to get Yeah, the dead body thing. That definitely will uh That'll make some people pissed. He should have scrapped. Or, even if he wanted to tell the story, he should have scrapped the 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 footage. I mean, I've I've scrapped videos for a lot less. How about TJP? Well, this is just going to be a fantastic match to get us started. A great matchup of styles, a dream match, if you will. Oh, do you think Sammy and Kevin will fight over who? Yeah, definitely. That's absolutely going to happen, Miles. 110 percent it is going to be infighting and that allows that allows uh aj to pick up the dubs of his arrogance in 2017 has carried it over here to 2018. um as far as i know the only one who dropped out was enzo because he's sick you just made the list who we got over here we got lisa Hitting the Big subscribe button. Thank fans. you very much, Lisa. Too sweet to you. Both these superstars and you get a llama, and she's grumpy because she's tired. Are you a grumpy llama because you're tired? And, oh. and TJP, as mm. we know, uh, was back in the summer of 2016. Oh, cool. Thank you. was the winner of the Cruiserweight Classic, and the reason we're here is because of the success. Well, it wasn't Jake Classic. Paul who did it. It was his brother, Logan. He showed in that tournament and his time since. Style reminiscent, perhaps, of Shinsuke Nakamura. In the Cruiserweight Classic, 32 of the best in the world, and TJP showed that he was the best of the best in that tournament. I mean, not oh. showing that now, is he? He's having a real time. Kiritazawa, impressive in his own right. Straight right, right hand dropping TJP. TJP's got to get back to his training. You just made the list! Yeah, you can hear that ah, uh, ah, uh, ah uh, chant. What Walt Mitten might call a barbaric York. <laughs> TJP in a character position is some of that quickness from Tozawa. And there's more of that unorthodox style of Tozawa. It's just been a very bad start for TJP. I want to mention both these superstars want to get back in the championship picture in 2018. And, oh! TJP had it scouted. All righty. Sorry about that. Shoulder. Who do we got? We got Jamie hitting that subscribe button. Thank you very much. Too sweet, Jamie. With the bow. I apologize. I had to put the llama down. I had to put the llama down. Now let's see what he does with this advantage. Tozawa, no stranger to I had to put the llama injuries. down. I seen the and video TJP, and he was disrespectful. Well well yeah, I mean, I've well I've seen TJP the video too. What he should have done, if he wants to tell the story, if he wants to put up the vlog, fine. I'm fine with him telling the story, putting up the vlog. Scrap the video. Like honestly, scrap the fucking video. Like you you know what you're doing is not right. Scrap the video. You know, it's just, it's... I'm going to tell you right now, if I were to do that, sitting here at, what, 44, 4,400 and change subs, my channel would be shut down. They'd be like, that's that's against YouTube Terms and Services. We're shutting down your channel. What's going on, Rohith? And that's, that would be the end of it. But because he's got 15 million, they're going to let him get away with it. And that's that's kind of the problem with YouTube. You know, they let PewDiePie get away with shit. Now they're letting him. They let they let the big guys get away with shit because of advertisers. It's it's not same one, same all. You know what I mean? They, this happens all the time. That tournament, you remember how TJP he won the tournament. He was very humble at the time. Certainly not the case. Take it easy, Scooby. Bring me some donuts. I want some donuts. Friggin' starving. Some might say arrogant. Yeah, 10 million views. I bet you there's an ad on it. Let's find out. I'm interested. I'm very interested. Okay. No! Version of the surfboard has got all of it. Oh, that'll do it. Right into the shoulder. Did he take the video right down? Elbow as well of Tozawa. Might have popped the shoulder out of the joint. 
Uh, you mentioned a lot about TJP is what makes him so dangerous, Nigel, the fact that he is a in-ring technician. He might have taken the video down. Yeah, he did. He took the video down. To change his game plan as necessary. You see here, Last I saw, somebody, whoever said 10 million, that sounded about right. That that sounded about right. Make a mistake that Tazawa would make him catch. And we mentioned TJP and how he's a student of the game, and he knows about Tozawa's history of Maybe he is. I doubt it. With a game plan, Nigel. Because, yeah, he uploads just about every day. He got 10 hours ago, one day ago, then three days ago. So, yeah, he, he took it down. Oh, KFC. I like the KFC, too. Big fan of KFC. That was the disadvantage that Tazawa had coming out here without knowing who his opponent was. All right, Dan. Oh, we'll see you tomorrow for some NXT. Once again, Tozawa digging deep and kicking out at two and a half. TJP is just again methodical, working on that injured body part. All the soul you were saying, yeah, yeah, it's almost 10 million views. And let me guess, it's got ads on it. Oh no, no ads. TJP three months ago. To be honest, TJP seemed to be fighting himself, but right now he is wearing down Tozawa. Done a great job. No ads. Take a look. This is the first time. Actually, the first time he really put a lot of pressure on that joint. And TJP transitioning right into another submission maneuver, Nigel. Don't think we're going to see a submission. Interesting. No ads. But there will be damage done. Well. And it is wearing down Tozawa. No! You can hear Tozawa screaming no. As Tozawa. That's interesting. Trying to battle back. Up he comes. Oh. Battles well, yeah, I'm sure I could still watch the video if I wanted to watch it. Tozawa able to get free for a moment, and TJP just taken down. Tozawa into the cover, shoulders down, and once again, Tozawa getting out at two and a half. It's certainly building confidence, wouldn't you say, Vic? I would certainly say that, Nigel. And TJP, confident, cocky, arrogant, whatever word you want to describe it, he has been successful in this matchup against a former Cruiserweight champion, certainly making his point. No, I, don't, I think that might be taking a little, little too far there, Leon. He looks better than I've seen him in a long, long time. With the torque on the wrist of Tozawa. And once again, oh, Tozawa. And again, TJP just able to stop the momentum. Oh! Oh! And Tozawa, one big blow. Take it out, TJP. That's kind of Tozawa's, Tozawa's gimmick. Ah, ah, ah. Did you see where ah. he fell, though? He fell on TJP's leg, and I think he damaged his shoulder even more. Well, you imagine the pain that Tozawa's in was not even able to take advantage and even make his way into the cover. But check this out one more time, Nigel. Boom! Right on the jaw of TJP. All righty. I'll show those Paul brothers a thing or two. I'm sure you will. Now, perhaps... Oh, the shield. I, I dig the shield, oh, but miss. I'm sorry. Their, their time has come and gone, really. I think the team you got to be looking at right now, really honestly. Um, the thing you got to be worried about now is Bullet Club. Bullet Club's top team. All right, she took care of it herself. Whatever. <laughs> he did it almost instinctively. Tozawa back into the ring. Hooks the leg. Is it enough to put TJP away? And no. Notice he couldn't use his left hand to hook, though, in that pinfall attempt. And we've given credit to Tozawa digging down. Um, I agree, Dylan. TJP able to get out at two and a half. And now Tozawa contemplating, wondering. I'm doing 205 live. Normally be Mama Wookie, but due to the kids having school tomorrow, um, I'm gonna do it tonight. Go to the top for that big back Sinton. Oh, oh, right underneath the arm and right back to work on that shoulder for TJP. And oh, Tozawa answering back. Well, wing kick. Down go TJP. And look where TJP's at, Nigel. 
Tozawa is still oh, the spider in the, the house. I don't know if he sounds like a cow. That might be going a little overboard. Ha! Ha! Uh, ha! Wisely. Doesn't sound like a car to me. That bottom rope for a moment. Hasn't got away from Tozawa completely. Like, what a second. Oh. What a thumb to the eye, Nigel. Oh, All right, Bullet Club best faction. The short cut, but it got the job done. A short cut indeed. Um, I don't know about Young Bucks being the best team. Rapungi Vice is kind of up there. Give me, give me like five minutes, guys. I'm gonna switch it over, and I'll let you guys listen here real quick. I'm having some issues with uh, with the llama. Live TJP. Nigel, did you see any ring rust on the former Cruiserweight champion? Starting out perhaps, but once he got running, there was absolutely no stopping TJP. TJP able to recharge since the last time we saw him three months ago. And whatever TJP did, it certainly is working for a short time, Nigel. This is what he did to turn things around early in the match. Tozawa coming out. Well, Tozawa is able to catch all of this. Check the impact out, Nigel. But to your point, landed on his injured shoulder, did Tozawa. The match would continue. And TJP would take advantage of the situation, cutting a corner, as you mentioned, Nigel. But it opened the door for TJP. There it is, that beautiful. Detonation kick right upside the jaw. Tozawa was out. One, two, three yep. for the count. Upside the jaw and buckled the knees of Akira Tozawa. Nonetheless, TJP victorious. What a way to start 2018 out for the first ever Cruiserweight Champion. Really good, I guess. Save your compliments for later, man. Save your... You and I have a lot to accomplish tonight as tag team partners. You know, I gotta say, this is gonna be fun. I never thought a legend like Goldust would volunteer to have my back. I thought it was just a one-time deal for Raw. But you realize you're over 205 pounds, right? What? Oh. Of course I do, Cedric. Of course I do, man, but with a little nip here and a tuck there, I could be a slim fit gold dust. But that's not why I'm here. Cedric, you and I are friends. When a friend needs my help, I see the whole thing through. The whole thing? Of course! Picture this, Cedric, listen. You are a rising star, you see it? I'm here to help you on your quest for gold. We're a team now. Think of us like Thelma and Louise, or Tango and Cash, or better yet, how about Turner and Hooch? <laughs> you know Hooch was a dog, right? Yes, man, you are my D-A-W-G dog. This is going to be the start of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> you know it is. <laughs> Let's go! Get in here, kid! King is born. The official theme of WWE Royal Rumble. 
Available now on iTunes and Spotify. Scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Manchester, England, weighing in at 167 pounds, gentlemen, Jack Gallagher. Well, Jack Gallagher demanded this match after Tommy broke the Brian Kendrick's nose in Oldabone last week on Raw, and it was a Tommy who also defeated Gallagher just last week. Well, of course, Jack Gallagher went right to social media with a New Year's resolution of sorts. He says, for 2018, I resolve to demand a rematch with Hideo Itami because I still do not respect him. Oh, what about what Hideo Itami tweeted? You don't understand. You have no choice. You will do what I say. You will respect me. Ladies and gentlemen, last week we learned something new. We'd been led to believe that Hideo Itami was here to compete on 205 Live. No, he's here to maim and disfigure. That's something the Brian Kendrick discovered firsthand. Um, fellas in the truck, would you do us a favor and roll the footage for me? Well, this is what Jack Aller is talking to. The moment we talked about earlier tonight, it was Hideo Tommy, and boom, right to the face of the Brian Kendrick. Oh, Tommy getting the victory, but there was more damage done than just losing the match. Absolutely caved in the face of the 20 year veteran. And the Brian Kendrick sidelined for two months. You see, my compatriot, my leader, my pal, Mr. Kendrick, suffered a broken nose, a broken orbital bone, and it all happened on Christmas. The only present he received that day was two months of no work. And it's the gift that keeps on giving because there might be irreparable damage. You see, I have watched that footage over and over and over again. In fact, let's watch it one more time, but let's watch it in slow motion this time. Way to pay extra special attention to Hideo's knee. You see, you can hear the sound of bone shattering at ringside. Can you imagine ending your holidays Half blind. <sighs> but when I watch that footage, I don't feel empathy, no. I feel inspired. Inspired to meticulously and painfully dissect Hideo Itami. So tonight, I'm going to make you suffer. Alrighty, guys, we're back. We're having a little problem with the llama llama. Nigel with the llama 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 llama. Was a little bit of a hypocrite. Wasn't he and Kendrick the one that wanted to maim their opponents? A cruel winter and everything. And his opponent from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in 182 pounds, Hideo Itami. And while the WWE Universe might think Jack Aller may be a hypocrite, there's no doubt the WWE Universe has been impressive with the path of Adeo Itami since coming over to 205 Live. All right, guys, I'm putting five minutes on the board. Well, it's impossible to not I'm interested in this match. match. His list of accolades, and when you look at the men that he's influenced in sports entertainment, whether it's Daniel Bryan, whether it's Seth Rollins, this was a man that when they were all cutting their teeth, he watched. And Hideo Itami, we've already seen some of the destruction that Itami has laid in his path. Not only I just put a bit out there, Hoopa. Several victories here on 205 Live. Even teamed with Finn Balor successfully on Monday Night Raw several weeks ago. <laughs> it's because he is a glass <laughs> can. <laughs> That's exactly what he is. Tuesday nights here on the WWE Network. Oh, wait a minute. Nigel, he needs to get rid of these fucking the black and Absolutely dookie was. fucking brown and the, trunks he's wearing. Nigel, I don't think this match officially has begun. Certainly hasn't. Oh, I don't know what he's oh. thinking. Strong, strong, yes, strong we did Italian. watch AJ strong, and Shinsuke strong, wrestle Gallagher Wrestle Kingdom quickly. 10, and, here comes and she was a fan. Gallagher with the umbrella. 
Yeah, Dalton Castle's been that way for like a couple months now. What is that? What is Nigel, what is that in the ring? And I'm not talking about the umbrella. It looks like some kind of pipe. Well, that's clear as day. That was inside the umbrella. Yes, we'll be doing NXT tomorrow. Right now, I got a very fussy llama. Oh, he's going to enact some revenge now. I think she's going free. I think Gallo was trying to be a little bit surreptitious at the beginning. Uh, Nigel, someone's got to get the pipe out of Jack Gallagher's hand. Are you going to do it? Uh, no. Ah. Oh, my God. Let's get some help out here. All right. Mama Wookie's going to feed her up. He said before, tried to maim Kendrick. Perhaps he's going to try and do the same thing. Thank you guys for sticking around tonight. I know we've had a few issues here tonight with uh, with Lot. Lama's very grouchy. I think she's teething. So that's always an issue. Um, she's teething. She's really early to be teething, but teething nonetheless. No perhaps about it. Let's hope it's Tommy's okay. Let's get him some medical support and we'll see how he's doing. What, what do you mean, what time am I doing? NXT only runs at, well, I guess it runs at two times. Hey, guys. It runs from seven to eight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome members hey of guys. the Zoe Train, Arya Davari and Drew Gulak. Gentlemen, what motivated you to challenge Gold Dust and Cedric Alexander to a rematch tonight? We asked for this rematch tonight because we weren't even ready for that gold freak. He's not even a cruiserweight. What my partner is trying to say, more professionally, is that we had suffered a major injustice last night on Raw. Not only is Enzo bedridden with the flu, but to be accosted and challenged by that depraved individual gold dust well my body is ready for the wrestle kingdom we simply weren't prepared for an my body is ready as well statue yeah i think she's hungry but, but she's teething too anyone who was coming hmm. down that ramp i gave him we meant already. anybody who's on the 205 live roster That's right nevertheless the zo train is ready for any challenge no matter how big and now that enzo is not with us. Well, let's just say we're going to do it right. And we're going to name this victory for the one man who represents the cruiserweight division and everything that's right with it. Hard to believe that Wrestle Kingdom's My here already. You know what I mean? Best friend. Go. Oh, yeah, she's overtired, Dust. probably hungry. <laughs> Drop your breath stinks. Oh, God. I'm the one here, day in and day out. This is my show. I look the part, I act the part, I walk the part, I talk the part because I am the part. Intercontinental Champion, WWE Champion, Hot White Movie Star. Since I came to Monday Night Raw, I've carried this show. I am awesome, awesome, awesome. Time to miss and I'm awesome. No, there's no match going on right now. Rolling Stone Magazine's Superstar of the Year, The Miz, returns to Monday Night Raw. Live next Monday on USA. Thank you, Luke, for the minute by minute update. Isn't it more than that? So it's technically Tuesday, and the fourth is when or Thursday. I am so confused. Find what fits you at WWE Shop.com. 
Tonight only. Save 20% off titles and 40% off t-shirts. Use code New Year. Uh, Noah, I'm sure, ran off to whatever podcast he was running off to. And Teddy, I'm not sure where Teddy. I think Teddy said he had to go to Night Night. He had to go to Betty Bye. He was tired. One fall. We're walking all over the house. And the WWE Royal Rumble is presented by KFC. It's finger licking good. And we know Davari, we know Gulak looking out for Enzo Amore, who again has not been cleared, still suffering from the effects of the flu, was unable to defend his Cruiserweight title last night on Raw, and is not here tonight. We had to believe Amore was watching. I'll do, let me do a quick Google search. Had to be disappointed, and I guarantee you he expressed that to Drew Gulak, which is why they demanded the match tonight. And their opponents, first from Charlotte, North Carolina, playing 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander! Well, Cedric Alexander seemed to be a little bit in disbelief early on tonight because he once again All right. the team with this superstar. And his tag team partner from Hollywood, California. Let me see if I can't find it. Chicago is... Oh, maybe you're right, Luke. Maybe it is at 2 a.m. That's what it's saying here. Chicago, 2 a.m. I'm the same time zone. will compete on 205 Live. Absolutely is the case. Golda said when you're a friend, you're a friend forever. And he's going to be... Beside Cedric Alexander. It was at 4 a.m. last year, and it has been for the past few years. He could be a slim fit Jamie, get down. So for you as well. So, well, Luke, you might be right, man. Usual match for the Zoe trainer. Obviously, not used to competing against a man of gold dust size and experience. First competed in WWE 27 years ago, believe it or not. Well, Nigel, they obviously had a little bit of trouble trying to figure out Goldust last night on Raw. Well, on the other side of the coin, though, Vic, Goldust isn't used to competing with guys with the speed and finesse of the Cruiserweight. So it's going to be an interesting matchup. That's a fair point. And Alexander Goldust looking to start 2018 off with back-to-back -back wins. More importantly for Cedric Alexander, looking to have back-to-back -back wins Take over the Zoe off, train. Glory. And it'll be Alexander starting off with Arya Davari. If we mentioned a few times tonight the fact that Enzo Amore is ill, but Alexander will get his title match with Enzo once Amore is clear. I guarantee you Amore will be watching this match in his sick bed. I wonder if he's finished the chicken soup yet. I wonder if he's finished the chicken soup. boy, go for him. Take him down. Strong lock up. Now, one has to wonder, Nigel, in this matchup is if the Zoe train is going to be able to step up. Maybe start Well, from the conversion, it says 2 a.m., but like I said, it's always been 4 a.m. Yeah. Hey, Vic, Vic, stop trying to drive a wedge between these guys, all right? I'm just stating obvious points here and just trying to get your thoughts on them, Nigel. That's all. Hey, give up with the obvious stuff and right, give us some insights. Oh, how about the inside of this, Nigel? Look at the athleticism. So when I looked at the conversion, it said 2 a.m., but like I said in past years, it's always been 4 a.m. So maybe they switched the time? I don't know. Not even close to a three count. But one has to believe, Nigel, this is quite the opportunity for Cedric Alexander to team with a legend like Goldust to learn from a former three-time Intercontinental champion, a former three-time tag team champion, the amount of knowledge that Goldust yeah, has Yeah, and that's weird gold. because you're you saying know, it's 3 a.m. Eastern. I'm an hour behind you, so it would be 4 a.m. Central. It's kind of weird. And Drew Gulak not liking the chance if we want gold dust, and here comes the bizarre one. Straight away. I think I can make my sister get me a subscription to New Japan World and WWE Network. Oh, there you go. Nice arm drag. Last night, had a chance to talk to Goldust. He said it was surreal, Nigel, that he was competing 
in the cruiserweight division. Had a lot of fun last night, and right now Cold is having a little bit of fun with True Gulak. Oh. Have have someone bark like I'm doing head. well tonight, Kevin. How are you? Yeah, We're just no. watching a little bit of 205 Live. Well, Nothing Drew really interesting going on. It doesn't look like it. it doesn't look like Drew Gulak and right now. Figured out gold dust. Kind of boring. We got the Zo Train going up against uh, the Gulak. And, uh, or the, I'm sorry, the Zo Train going up against Gold Dust and Cedric Alexander. Oh, and in the WWE Universe behind him. Simple headlock. It happened on Monday. Oh, well, that might not be smart strategy. I mean, we uh, the match ride, hasn't happened yet, no. Difference in this match, but look at Goldust go, Nigel. Oh. 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 I spoke too soon. Oh my. They are going full fucking comedy so act with him. Catch his breath. What's going on, Tiffany? You still around? What up, girl? Oh! Dion Davari. Right to work. Well, he didn't take kindly. No, but I saw what Goldust was eating catering earlier. Tag made. In comes Drew Gulak. Both Gulak and Davari want to prove their worth. To you brought them boy. into YouTube? No, All right, time to lay down, so. And it's been mentioned yes, before, Drew Gulak. Gulak. Not happy that gold is even allowed to compete here on Tuesday nights. My devil's advocate, you got a fair point, right? You f you found them? It does have a fair point, Nigel. Drew Gulak. All right, man. Whatever you say. For this matchup, so he did it. What he got? Got a minute. It's a little fun having gold us around in the locker room. I think Davari makes the tag and will. Gulak and Davari able to cut the ring in half, and one has to imagine. Oh, Nigel, what it would do for Davari, who goes in the cover, hooks the leg, and was one second away from putting away Goldus. What it would do for Davari and Gulak. 2017 Browns and the 08. See, the 08 Lions, which is funny, as I said, watch after they went 0 16, I was kind of the one I said, watch out for them. That's a super young team. Almost all of their losses, except for like three. We're by three points or less. Well, like, watch out for the Lions, and sure enough, the next year they were playoff contenders. So. We talk about striking ability, Nigel. How about Alexander's striking ability? Uh, some of the strongest oh, kicks. Oh, wow, going down low. I got you now. Oh, there's one of them. Right to the face of Ari and of Ari. And the man who has an opportunity at the cruiserweight title could be closing in on another victory over the Zo Train. And oh, oh my word. What a nasty spill for Cedric You just made the list. This is kind of a... Uh, I don't know how I'm feeling about this match. We got one shot gaming HD hitting that subscribe button. Too sweet to you, my man, with the bow. Thank you very much. And if he'd listened to Drew Gulak's rules... Batista's been talking about a return. He has been talking about it. I mean, it's Take been rumored for Batista to be coming back for a now while now. Nice job by um, to equal the numbers, but he took his eyes too long. Oh, I just, I don't know. Opening the window, and I don't Dabari know. And Drew Gulak, a tag was made, have cut the ring in half once again, and have isolated Cedric Alexander. Now, Gulak looks to move on the advantage that he helped create. Yeah, well, this is something that definitely will make Enzo Amore smile. Second chance. Oh, as you know, as a cover's made, Gulak with a cover out of at two is Cedric Alexander. Is Enzo Moore gave these guys marching orders to take out Cedric Alexander and Drew Gulak. You're you're, you're right. They still did go down Alexander in time, Cedric but Cedric Alexander is the one who defeated Drew Gulak for the opportunity to face Enzo as Gulak. It's a little weird. Gold is in to break things up at two. That's a great point, Vic. A lot of anger, a lot of resentment from Gulak. Gulak letting a little bit of that out right now on Alexander. Tag was made back in his Davari. And when you're on the Zo train, you are a direct reflection of the champion, Enzo Amore. And you can just ask Tony Nese, who was taught a lesson three weeks ago, Nigel. Certainly was a strong oh. physical lesson. Yet to find out whether he, whether he learned from it or not. Davari and Gulak said earlier tonight they were ill-prepared last night. Well, they have had time to strategize. 
I should probably take this opportunity Vic, to send my well wishes to Enzo Amora. I do know he would have done absolutely anything to be here tonight yep. to defend his title, but unfortunately, doctors would not allow it. I'm trying to get on the Zoe train, yeah. Nigel. Oh! Well, maybe I should. I heard that chicken soup that Nia Jax brought him was very nice. Alexander, shoulder first. Stop weight shaming nice him. That. You talk about nice. Up That's funny. Could be some serious damage done. Serious injury. Sorry, I was looking at some stuff oh, on my other screen, and all of a sudden I come back and stop weight shaming him. Well, I guarantee you, Nigel, if Cedric Alexander were to get injured in this matchup, Enzo Mori would be healed just like that, almost instantly. Wait a second, Vic. What are you in? Finn needs to go to 205 Live in a bad way. Are you a doctor? I'm not a doctor, but one can imagine, can't we? Come on. Sure, it ran through the mind of many in the WWE universe. God, all the tea in China that I would give to get rid of fucking Nigel McGuinness. I didn't like him at ROH, and I don't like him now. He's battling. He's six feet away. And Gold is reaching out, and oh, Davari. Able to get to Alexander in the final moment. Send him away. And oh, the no oh shit. I love that move. This the opportunity, the moment Alexander has needed. Look at fired up. Goldie is in the corner. Davari has no idea where he is. He needs to grab a hold of Alexander. Stop him making the tag. Well, Gulak realizing that, yelling at Davari. They try to give Davari some frame of reference where Gulak is in the ring. Tag made, in comes Gulak, and in comes Goldust. Oh, watch him fly. Hey, lady. Who, Lama? And Goldust leaving his feet with a bulldog. And oh! Absolutely no wasted motion. Goldust moving as quick as a cruiserweight. And Goldust swinging away on Drew Gulak. Oh, this is fun, Nigel. Look at Goldust here on no. 205 Live. Did you it's ever Brock at it? WrestleMania. Oh, it's going to be Brock it's like and back the clock for a Roman. It's Brock going well. to be. Make no bones about it. It's going to be Brock and Roman. They're going to get there one way or the other. I'm almost thinking maybe you will see Roman win the Rumble again for like the fucking third year in a row. Will he fly again? Oh, for better of it. Goldus, yeah. Second thoughts. He didn't learn his lesson. I told you, I don't want that ass hat either. You got to take them both. They're both fucking yours. Absolutely. Classic Goldust. WWE Universe behind the golden one here tonight. The gold, oh, they've already in at the last moment, paid the price for it. What are you doing? Gold does doing well with both members of Zoe Train at the tag. same time. Oh, a tag was made, Nigel. And wait a minute, it comes Alexander over Gold Dust. Yes! Oh! Both members of the Zoe Train on the outside. What does that mean? What do you think it means, Nigel? We're about to watch and find out. Is Golda, is Goldus really, he's not gonna do this, is he, Nigel? We'll find out. Oh, wait a minute. Jesus. Alexander. <laughs> Goldust just, just can't do it. And I thought we were gonna see Goldust fly. Alexander just jumped over Goldust. And that's the athleticism of Alexander. Hold on a second. Lumbar check. Right in the center. One, two, three. It's over. I'm, <coughs> I'm hoping for Shinsuke to win the Rumble, too. Fuck, something tells me that. The more I think about it, it's like, fuck, how are they going to get to Roman and Brock? You know what I mean? How are they going to get to Roman and Brock? 
because that's going to happen. Like I said, there's no doubt in my mind Roman and Brock is, like, the thing. They just don't give a flying fuck. It's going to happen. How do you get there? Cedric Alexander. Look at the height of Cedric Alexander. Propelling himself over the top and landing. And that's I'm, I'm just I'm wondering how you get there. Well, they're not to be out And I'm wondering oh, if it's through. Of the lumbar check and how about the momentum now? I'm wondering if it's Cedric through Alexander. the rumble. But yes, the faces have won. Happy, happy New Year to you. Good night for the man with a cruiserweight title opportunity in his back pocket. Cedric Alexander gave momentum on the path for his eventual match. But now beside him. Is it over? They're ending it early? I thought it went from 8 to 9 or 9 to 10. I guess that's it. Well, guys, it's been another fantastic night. We'll see you tomorrow for some NXT, and we'll go from there. Actually, you'll see Mama Wookie tomorrow for some NXT. Guys, we've had a fantastic night. I'm not sure if we hit our goal or not, but uh, I will see you fucks all tomorrow.